interrupt this program to bring you Blue Jeans Podcast. There you go. Oh, okay. What's up, y'all? This is Hood Geniuses Podcast, and I'm Lady T. And this is Ms. 100. And this is episode 92, y'all. Yes, 92. We're approaching that 100th episode very soon. Yes. You yes, know what we I mean? are. Eight episodes away. Yeah, yeah. What are we um, going to do? Yeah, I know, right? We're going to have to do something. <laughs> yes, you know what yes, I mean? Definitely. We have to do something. Um, today, we have with us a guest. Um, we have Alicia Nicole who is the founder of a nonprofit organization called The Hustle Mom. And today, y'all going to hear her talk about what she has going on with this nonprofit, why she started it. It's a really dope organization for the community. Yes, right. And she is a woman of many titles. You know what I mean? <laughs> many titles. Podcaster, public speaker. Um, you run a therapy uh, counseling group. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we're going to get into that. So, how you doing, Alicia? I'm good. Thank y'all for having me. I'm excited. Um, any place that is welcoming, I'm there. Dope. Great, <laughs> dope. yes. Dope. You're in so, the right place. <laughs> so, y'all know how we like to do this. Uh, we're going to get into our weeks. Um, you know, the highs and lows of our weeks. Uh, right. who, who wants to go first? I mean... You can start it off. You yeah, it okay. Off. Well, um, my week was cool. Like, uh, I don't really like to talk too much about the 9 to 5. The 9 to 5, is, it is what it is. I mean, um, you know, I'm tired of making people money. To, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Until I get to that point where I'm able to uh, be my own boss, then I'll talk about the highs and lows of that. You know what I mean? But other than that, my week was good. I went to see the movie Widows. I don't know if y'all seen oh, okay. that. How okay. How was that? Yeah, it was really good. Okay. Um, okay. A lot of people was calling it the 2018 version of Set It Off. But mm-hmm. I kind of like a little disagree with that. Yeah, but Because okay. the, the plot is... Totally different oh, right. from yeah, the Set It Off movie. Definitely different. Um, but it's really good. Really okay. good. Um, what's the actress' name? The dark skinned woman? Viola Davis. Viola. She, mm-hmm. yo. I didn't get she, away with murder. That's my girl. She's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> yo, she is amazing. She is, yes. Amazing. Yes, yeah, she is. Mm-hmm. Like, she got layers and she's got dimension. Yeah, yes, like, she does. She make you feel it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And um, I don't want to talk too much about the, the mm-hmm. movie because, you know, I don't know if y'all seen it yet, but. Yo, it's, it's it's the the plot is dope. It's That's a really it. good movie. I think she's very yeah. underrated. Yeah, she I have she to agree. She played the fences. Yeah, she is. Oh, she she played the fences. Right? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. The movie up. Mm-hmm. yeah, she's she killing it. Yeah, she yeah. is. She yeah, killing she is. it, yo. You know what I mean? Is. You know she she rocking her natural, rocking her wig, all that shit mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. all that passion. Either or, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, she showed so many different layers of an African American woman. And it just seems so real, you know what I mean. But yeah, other than that, yeah, my my week was cool. You know, I had I had no uh, no lows or nothing like that. You know, I was just staying out the way. Okay, there you trying go. to remain positive. No, that's right. There that you go. You know what I mean. <laughs> and oh, I gotta mention today, I went to. Uh, I think Whole Foods Market made me a believer of being a ve- <laughs> a, a vegan. Oh, um, you know why? Because. You know, I go back and forth with not eating meat. and um, We had this conversation. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. And I went there today and I got um, some sesame kale, some broccoli and peppers, and uh, and a veggie uh, egg roll. Bread, yeah. Okay. And I'm like, damn. Like, I really can eat like this. Like, it were, <laughs> well, like, it was. Like, what Like, 120? No, not. I, I know. <laughs> Whole Foods has that. You know, yes, you yeah, know that's stigma. Five yeah. things, you, one yeah, but no, they had sales. Oh, okay. and okay. I don't know if yeah. people don't know. Okay. Um, Whole Field, Ho- damn Whole Field, mm. uh, Whole Foods <laughs> has um is under Amazon Prime. Yeah, okay. so if you have an Amazon Prime, you get discounts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get the mm-hmm. you can go on Amazon Prime, get the oh, coupons. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, okay. So when you go on Whole Foods now, you see Amazon Prime mm-hmm. all over the yeah, store. Took a nice. If I'm not mistaken, I think they bought. Whole Foods. Oh, yep. okay. Yeah, okay. because yep. then they're going to be nice. doing that yep. delivery. So, 
online. Yeah, yeah. Online yeah. Market. yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. Let me see. A little, can you hear me? I'm yeah, sorry, guys. That's good. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, who, whoever want to go next, um, you go ahead. Alicia? Yeah. Go down the line, right? Go down the line. <sighs> hey, <it's peace>. my, <laughs> mm-hmm. I think my high for my high for this week. Um, Jeez, I think every day is just its own natural high. Mm. Um, just being able to continue to do what it is that I need to do um, for myself and my family. Um, I didn't get hurt. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, my girlfriend was in a horrible accident. When she's actually mm. one of my clients, so um, wow. you know that I could have had an accident. And I didn't. So I think my high is just being safe all week. That's um, a the low this week, Jesus. Mm. Um, my oldest son. He's 12, and we going at it. Mm. This is oh. new territory for us. Oh. You know, it's my first time being yeah. a mother for a 12-year-old, and this is his first time being 12. And yeah. we just <laughs> going at it. Yeah, his balls wow. is dropping. <laughs> Everything is dropping. Yeah, his I'm balls like, is dropping. I'm going to drop you next if you no, want to I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a male. I'm keeping it 100. Uh-huh. So, I remember when I was so 12. So they say for women, young girls, they smell themselves. So for a male, he's His what? balls is dropping. His balls is dropping. Whatever. Okay. Y'all call it. He <laughs> oh, doing it. Okay, he's doing it. Um, he's, he's testing the waters. And you know what? Yeah, like my patience is thinner than a piece of paper that- with him at this point. And I just called his dad. I said, you mm-hmm. might want to come get your child. Oh, he not make it. Like yeah. And he's like, say okay. less. I'm on the way. <laughs> yeah. Rip him up. So, yeah. Give him some, some yeah. chest shots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Said, like, you know, respect it's, your it's, mom. It's you better do that. Go, mm-hmm. Just go chill with him. For yeah, one break. he like all right, and, he, and, and that's probably what he need. I, you know I what think saying? so. He he's he's at the point now where he somewhere there's some aggression. Mm. He can't process his emotions. Yeah, and we talked about that, but people just don't know how to. So maybe mm-hmm. he needs a different outlet. Mm-hmm. And um. Go ahead over on that side. I feel like I did my nurturing part. Now it's time for dad to take over and yeah. do the do the big man part. Well, that's good that yeah. you noticed that. You got to. Because if you yeah. don't, you're yeah. crazy. That means you're well in tune with your child. That you know your child. I think it's just it's some things where you know a woman can't do. Right? Yes. Exactly. You can do anything. You can't do everything. Right. There you so, go. I like that. There you mm-hmm. go. Yeah, I like that. Your turn. Okay. Like that. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's, that's the mic. <laughs> but let me get on the mic and talk about Lady T. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay. Um, well, um, I like how you were saying the highs. Um, mm-hmm. My high every day is opening my eyes. Yeah. That's my high. I know every that's right. Day, okay, because you get so much of um, you know, certain people in your life that's not here no more. Yeah. You know, so that's definitely a blessing for me. Um, work week, like you said, Ben is just piggybacking. Mm-hmm. We're not even gonna talk about that. I love my job. I love what I do. I love working for my community with my community. Um, it's a blessing to the staff that I have. I love you guys. Um, you know who you are. Um, let me see. Did I do anything spectacular? Oh yes, my daughter wanted to see that movie called Possession of Hannah Grace. I didn't hear that. Yeah, I, I don't know about that. Is it oh, in the theater? Yes, it's in the theater. Okay. My daughter is that she movies. loves horror. Oh, horror no. Movies. So I know I missed that. Right. Yeah, she I, loves horror I, movies. So she put me on a lot of horrors I would have never thought about watching. I'm like, wait a minute. So you and your room watching these horrors by yourself? Yeah. Get you checked out. God bless you. Because yeah. I was never into horrors. I was, you know, but. Yeah, and you know, my daughter. Around the same age, right? Your do- yes. same thing. She I like them like hard. Yes. I don't know what it is. I think they get it like a drilling rest, yeah. rest and that stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But I always tell them like, you know, them spirits is real. That's definitely, real. you know. Definitely. So you got to be careful, even though you like that genre of movie. Um, mm-hmm. Be careful. Um, yeah. Do some prayers after. Right. After <laughs> watching them, go stuff. watch something okay. happy afterwards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah go, go watch, watch SpongeBob. Right. I don't know. I ain't yeah. about you crazy though. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So we went to go check that out, and um, it was very um, interesting. They had a lot of subliminal messages. Movies always do. They do. Um, it was very interesting. Very interesting about how um, demons can really enter you. Mm. Through your mm. down times of, of anxiety, depression, mm. it was amazing that they put that in there mm-hmm. because a lot of people don't understand that that's what sometimes people are going through. Yeah, you that's know the, they're fighting the, their own demons. Right, and people have got to understand that sometimes you just can't be hard on somebody if you ask for somebody help. Mm-hmm. They trying they damage to, to help themselves. Yeah, so we live in a world right now where people are fighting. Depression and, and, and mental issues more than ever, mm-hmm. you know. And it's good that you know, it's this outlets of things of the sort that they can go to now, whereas back then it really wasn't. Yeah, 
But you just got to understand that you just got to. It's a spiritual warfare. Yeah, it's spiritual warfare. Mm-hmm. Definitely yeah. spiritual yeah. warfare. Yeah. And that movie is definitely, um, the, it was it was kind of corny, but it had those good, you know, gotcha. messages in there. Yeah. Um, other than that, um, just, you know, the daily routine, you know, run mm-hmm. my errands, you know, today, Sunday, and um, we're here now recording. Mm-hmm. But our special guest, Alicia. Yeah. Hustle Mom. That's what we do, baby. That's what we do. The Hustle, hustle Mom. Mom. The Hustle Mom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. I like Ooh, that. Yeah. yeah. And I'll be grabbing the shirt. Um, yes. Yeah, we're we going to get into that. We're we'll get into that. You can't that. wear one, Mel. So wait, so I've been getting a lot of a lot of a lot of heat with the guys like so when I'm gonna get a hustle dad, I'm like hustle dad. I don't yeah. ever want dads to say hustle dad because it's especially for my black men. Yeah. Because that yeah, can turn difference. real left real quick mm-hmm. in a real negative light. So I'm trying to get a little bit creative. I get that. Nice. I like how that. I'm gonna do it better. Mm-hmm. Cause when I first started, a couple of my friends was like what y'all like a mob of moms or something? Like, what y'all out here doing? I'd be like, just calm down. We just, mm-hmm. it's a nickname, you know. It's so, amazing how yeah. people could just take a word and just Oh, yeah, all because yeah. of what has already you know? been identified right. as. Right. Um, so I had to make it real clear with the guys. I was like, I don't really want y'all yeah. with the name. Yeah, like especially going so down the street and get pulled we're gonna, my whole Right. We're going to find out, we're going to find something just a little yeah. bit more different for mm-hmm. y'all. But yeah, absolutely. Because they do want to rock and rep the brand for me and, and nice. things like that. So. Nice. Well, we'll we'll do something creative. Well, right now, it's about the hustle mom. It is. Yeah, let it be. Right. Hmm. It's yeah. a movement. Yeah, I'm trying to right. present a movement out here. That's right. Um, yeah, and, and and mothers, oops, mothers are most important. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying to exclude the dad, but you know, when it all comes down to it, the the mother, a strong mother, is always the backbone of a a, a mother that actually is. Out there and actually doing what they need to do as a mother. Yeah, I'll right. say that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, some people, some mothers out here, they're not holding their own like they should. You know what I'm saying? I'll just leave it at that. Level suit shit. That's what you're trying to say. Because <laughs> you got your baby yeah. mom, you got your mom, and you have a mother. Yeah. And to yeah. Me, it's totally. It's, yeah. It, pretty it, much. It's a difference. Layers. Layers. Yeah. <laughs> You know definitely, what I mean? Definitely. <laughs> so we're gonna um we're gonna get into uh news of the week. Um my first um article that I came across was this good Samaritan that got fatally fatally stabbed in mm. Baltimore. Baltimore, yeah. Yeah. Fifty two years old, mm. um woman was killed after helping another woman carry that was carrying a please help me uh feed my baby sign. She went over to um pulled over to get her money to, uh to get a woman some money mm-hmm. and a man approached the car and he tried to reach in and grab her pocketbook. Mm-hmm. And when he there was a little tussle going on and then he stabbed her. He stabbed her like in her torso area. And um mm-hmm. they couldn't save her. She she died. You know, he killed her. You know what I mean? Um I mean, it's like what kind of setup. world? Yeah, it was. It definitely You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and and you got to think about that, right? How does that make you feel when you, you know, we in Philadelphia mm-hmm. and we see all these, of course, you know, these, these some people that's out here begging this and that, it puts you in a position like, damn. So I was that person. You know? Huh? I was that person, right? Or I, I guess I should say I am that person mm-hmm. who will see somebody and I will roll down the window. Now, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. there's a caution now. It's like, now I cannot right. just do that. Mm-hmm. You don't know. Um, what could happen? You you always got to think about your safety first at the end of the mm-hmm. day, because mm-hmm. um, you don't know. Like you just, like you piggyback. I don't know if it was before or while we were taping, but you were saying you don't know what people are going through mentally. And yeah. I tell people all the time, like I used to have road rage real bad, and I would mm-hmm. like you know beat the horn like, hey, you know, you're lunching mm-hmm. at the light or whatever. And I was like, I need to chill because that could have been that last person straw. He could mm-hmm. pull over yep. and shoot me or, yep. you know, mm-hmm. turn around. I'm like, let me just kind of calm down, yeah. you know, and you it's don't know. It. It's not worth it. That person could be schizophrenic and stuff and just go off. Mm. So you just mindful. I just, you know, give, keep it moving yeah. as swiftly as possible. Um, so I'm just real mindful how I give now. Yeah. You know, it's you know, scary. yeah, it, it really is. You know, uh, Last night I was I stopped at this gas station and I know y'all know what I what 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 I mean by this. Um, I was really I'm really conflicted about this. You know you have, you have the young guys that's begging for money. You know they saw yo old head yo old yeah. G. Let me 
you know, mm-hmm. but their mannerism or how they approach you mm-hmm. be kind of crazy. Very like, they surround you. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. aggressive. And it's like, at, <laughs> with me, it's a different kind of um, person kicks in. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, damn. Now it's I need defense. to defense mechanism. Yeah. Right. It's just right. defense, yeah. which is natural. You know, but last night they really was speaking very um nicely. Polite. Polite. Mm-hmm. And you know, they're like, yo, can you please can That's I please have a dollar? You got any change to spare? And then it's like the other side of me was like, damn. Mm-hmm. He he really needs this. Mm-hmm. His mom, his father is not there for him. Mm-hmm. Right. And I'm starting thinking back, like, damn, yo. Man, what the times we live in now? Because I remember being a young boy and, like, you know, I didn't go through that. I didn't have to go through that. But even if I wanted some extra money, I would just go, we would go to the the supermarket. And right, help and bag. Bag, mm-hmm. you know, and carry bags to the, the, the car for older women or whatever. Yeah. You know, all types of little things. Or, or sell newspapers. People work for it. Yeah. You yeah. hit the barbershop, mm-hmm. man, can you yeah, see sweet. Love? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you don't, these young guys don't do that now. They're not taught. They just, they, they just beg. They don't they know. They're here. not taught. True. That's it. It's though. a whole different yeah. ball game now. They haven't been, been taught like an honest right. route to go right. that's safe, right? right? Because right. they could, some of them could be doing this for survival. Right. So they're going to try and do anything, right? Mm-hmm. Versus my son, who's 12, like, I got to figure out, you know, how right. to do something myself, mm-hmm. you know, and ask me, and then we can go through the proper channels to say, you, you can do this, this, you can't do that, and that. Mm-hmm. Um, they just out there. They're trying to survive. Yeah. Um, and some is, it's a setup. Yeah, it yeah. is. It really is. It can be. So, it's like for you to, it's hard for you to discern, discern like, whether it is, it it is generous, like, they really need it, or, you know, or you go home. Yeah. After yeah. trying to give somebody yeah. something. Yeah. Because it's like that moment that you dig in your pocket to be like, all right, yes. hey, is somebody going to come from behind right. me and put a gun mm-hmm. to my is back that, or a yeah. knife? Yeah. You know what I mean? jump in your car. Yeah. And they, and anything. They, and, yeah. and they got hoods on. Like, yes. they be having hoods Especially on. Especially when it's wintertime. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. So it's like, it's y'all be, I, last night I just was like conflicted by that. And the crazy, I, I gave them money. Yeah. You know, I gave them a dollar and some change. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was like four of them. Mm-hmm. So I noticed like the first person I get a change to. His, his homie next to him, when I gave him the dollar, then he, he was like, I guess they splitting the money or whatever. Say they okay. sharing. And it's like, damn, it's like, still was messing with me, though. Like, I felt sad right. about that for them. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because we don't know their home situation. But you know what? They can be, they can be out here actually Doing robbing. Doing other things, right? Robbing. Right. So that kind of gives me an ease of saying that, okay, so you're generously asking in a proper way, can you have some money? Mm-hmm. And... You're not out here robbing mm-hmm. for it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it, it is a sad situation. Because, like, I have two young boys, like you were saying. Right. Um, and when I take them to the barbershop, they see hair on the floor. They go sweep it up. And they're going to say, can I have a dollar? Yeah. <laughs> I, I did my job. They yeah. work for it. Oh, yeah, they yeah, yeah. the trash. You know, I posted videos numerous times when they were younger. You know, four or five years old. Yeah. Tom well, Hark. That's, really walk that's good the that they doing that. Yeah, because they, they see mommy going. Mm-hmm. They see mommy working. You know? And yeah. I always, you know, express that. The world don't owe you, excuse my friends, the world don't owe you shit. You got to work hard for it. You do. Mm-hmm. Whatever you want. You got to work hard for it. Don't fall in what, your lap. One yeah. they Biggie lyrics? No, that was Nas. <laughs> oh, Biggie or Nas. Somebody. <laughs> Oh, Biggie, it was Biggie. Yeah. The world was looking Biggie. for shit. Okay, but then yeah. I said put a verse out there, too. I'm sure he did. Right? Yeah. 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 Sure. yeah. No. Oh, no. See, okay. I know hip-hop. Like, this one over here. This one over here. Man, one hundred. Don't ask God me. Almighty. People could have quickly revoke my car and I tell them I said, they were kind of a little bit before my era. And I was like, for me to listen to it. Right? right? right. So, I was... Too young to be listening to those lyrics. And I was scared of my mom. So, I ain't never tried to sneak. Hold up. Right? You was too young to listen to what? Like Biggie oh, and Nas oh. and Tupac. Oh, I was sneaking though. Yeah, See, we were so, sneaking. You were scared. I was scared of Jamila, so I ain't oh, sneak. Wow, yeah. But I, I will tell you this: N.W.A. was blasting through my house, so you might could possibly drop some oh. N.W.A. lyrics because it was very Black Panther in my in my okay, house. Okay, all right. Yo, you know, N.W.A. Enemy yeah, that's like that's more. So when that happens, it's the, like that's the, normal to me. Shit, in, man, N.W.A. was wild. They and they was, were wild. They were wild. And wild. I was like, oh, so y'all gonna play this for us? Okay, niggas with attitudes. Uh, yeah, I know. But here's wow. the flip side to mm-hmm. um, what bothers me about the kids at the gas station, right? It's late at night. Yeah. And yeah. these young kids. Yep. Mm-hmm. So how is it that law enforcement are riding past and they're not scooping them up and we're doing truancy? 
let these black kids mm. be at a gas station in the wrong township, borough, mm-hmm. oh, they, or they going straight you know, to jail, or to county. Jail. You know, they're scooping them up. They're going straight to jail. Why is it that here in Philadelphia, we don't care about these young black boys? And it's girls, too, because I've seen them. Mm-hmm. Why aren't we paying just as much attention? Yeah. Because it's times where I might go get gas on my lunch break. And I know y'all supposed to be in school. So why is y'all out here? Now, certain gas stations are putting up signs like, please don't give these kids any money because I'm not going to be liable for what happened. Wow. It's systematic. Because I can't. Up. Right. Set up so there. at the end of the day, it's just like. I, you know, come on, baby. You can't. Mm-hmm. You can't do this. How old are you? Yeah. Well, I'm nine. I'm like, I got wow. a ten year old. Trying to eat. Yeah, it's a shame. It's like, why are you out here at ten a.m.? Why are you out here at twelve at night? Mm-hmm. Like, what is going on? So your mom is on drugs. Your dad is on drugs. No one somebody gives a thing. No one away, cares. Something yeah. happened, or yeah. somebody mm-hmm. has put them up to this. Because do you all remember a couple years ago? Y'all see like maybe two girls in Miller Street asking like, "Oh, I need help. I just need some tokens. I need just need some money. Somebody is abusing me." Uh, I need money to run away or something like that. I'm like, that is a setup. Because if you really need help, you're not going to be standing right here asking me for that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, man. Me and my girlfriends would see yeah. it all the time. And she was like, do not give them money. Yeah. They are being sent out here. I I know um, out like on Island Avenue, out uh, Southwest. Tra- high sex trafficking I, yeah, area. Yeah. yeah, I be seeing like, you know, the, 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 the white Jesus looking dudes. Asking for money and but and food. Spit <laughs> <up>. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they, you know, the, the image that they put out there with Jesus supposed to look like. Mm-hmm. And I, I guess do want that effect because he, you know, he looked like that image. Okay. And it, it'd be a couple of them that look like that. Caucasian males, and they they'll have a scrawny white woman with them. Mm-hmm. And I know they on drugs, of and they got the signs saying, you know, help feed me. me, help me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yo, y'all in the hood. Like, y'all probably ain't even from this county. You know what I mean? But y'all down here begging. Ventured over here sometimes. You know what I mean? It's crazy. The the drugs probably brought them this way. You know how it go. Well, you know, know Frankfurt is at its all-time low right now. I think it's ridiculous. It's it's really bad. Where is the... It's the walking dead. It's really bad. The walking Um, dead. Representatives at that's supposed to be able to take a crack at what's going on in in some of those areas. We're talking like Kensington. Yeah. Um, People say it's like the real-life walking dead. It really is. It really is. Take a ride down there. Take a ride down there. Yeah. Day or night. You're going to get the Walking Dead. Yeah, didn't they approve the um the safe site? The safe, yeah. The safe sites to mm-hmm. you know the, to do the, your drugs. To yeah. do your drugs. Oh, and it was up near in Kensington, Kensington area, right? Yes, because yeah. that's where the area is really bad. Uh, that's that's evil. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but, I mean, evil. listen to this. You know, it's a, it's a money making business. It really is. I get it. Some money making business. I yeah. get it, but morally yeah, is right. is really disgusting. It is. It is because all you're but doing it's... is creating a um. It's it's going to it's a cycle. It's going to continue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Man, let me it's get no right different. You, from it's like the seventies. It's like me going mm. into rehab for mm. drugs, right? Right. Like you put me in, um, <laughs> in an area where there's high trafficking drugs, right? You'd be like, oh, we took you out your neighborhood. So you really think that a person who wants drugs ain't going to be able to find it? Right. Like, now I understand why they'd be like, no, we're sending you away. When a yeah. white family say, we're sending you away mm-hmm. to the middle of nowhere to right. fully mm-hmm. detox. Right. You can't put rehabilitation places in certain neighborhoods. High drug that traffic. You, thank you. That and makes prime me no sense. Mm. Well, and and in, in Meeks Mill's interview, he was talking about how you know, his area, where, which was down the street. So you have these homes of people that's recovering from that drugs just, yeah. in that area. Own, right. That has never changed. Yeah. Me so how has moved on, but still, this is the still high traffic drug area. So how do you expect somebody to better themselves if you're putting them in an atmosphere that made them sick? You don't want them to. Mm. Right. So there we go. With you that. don't want them to. Right. It's systematic. Right. It's the mm. way so they want it to be. It. Yeah. Because at the same time, they're still having babies, and their babies are raising themselves. Mm-hmm. So, therefore, mm-hmm. you're setting up the systems to continue, for, itself, to continue yeah. itself, be a vicious cycle. Yeah. And it only take the strong to break that cycle. Right. Mm. So or for you, to, really sad. for you to realize, like, I just can't be I, here. I just can't. I want to yeah. break this cycle. Enough is enough, and only yeah. you would know. Right. Because how do you... Okay, so how do you put you in rehab, and they give you uh, a drug that's similar to the drug that you want? 
So you're talking about the methadone clinics. Come on, then. Talk to me. Talk well, to me. I don't. Well. I don't. Listen. It's a money-making business. Experiment. The spirit's never going to stop. As long as their science is still going to school to get a degree, it's always going to be experiments, okay? <laughs> yeah, now that, that methadone, that methadone thing is crazy because, you, can you get know. You addicted to that. Yeah. Oh, it, yeah. They're, they're supposedly weaning you off. With yeah, another drug, drug, something that's with a synthetic drug made right. in the lab right. that works. mirrors the same, gives you the same effects, same, same, high. same high. But what's crazy is so, worse. so how is that? You pretty much does legalize heroin, yeah, yeah. an opiate. That's mm-hmm. a legal opiate, but you don't say it. no to drugs. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we we gonna go on to the next. Yeah, because uh, we can go on and on and on with this. You, you, one. you you can bring yours up. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So mine's is real quick to the point. Um, so everybody know Kevin Hart. If you've seen it on social media, it's real crazy right now. The real buzz about him not being able to host the awards. My philosophy to that is everyone do not watch the awards that day. Mm. Because they want him to apologize for some something that he posted 10 years ago. I mean... Almost 10 years ago, yeah. Yeah, almost 10 years ago. But here's the thing. He still was young. He was young. He was growing into... But How many people have done that? Yeah. And it's okay. But because Kevin Hart is, he's there. Like, he's, what, 60? What's his gross? I mean. He's worth, like. Y'all have. He's up there. Grab him by the pussy in chief right now. And mm. he was videotaped. So, I'm just Listen. wanting everybody to know. Mm. <laughs> Kevin Hart, what I'm telling mm. you is. He and he didn't he just tweet that. Him. He said that. And it was audio. Right? Yeah. Yeah, they pick and choose. See, I'm gonna tell you. There you go. They you know what I mean? Like, go. like for for African American men mm-hmm. or people of color. Period. And this only happens to them. I'm gonna go. I'm they. I'm gonna go as far as to say this. Listen, the the moment that they seen that he was picked to host the Oscars, well, Y'all the Oscars, know right? That. Yeah, yeah. They should have been. They better. been. They been did the research because we were never even allowed on the yeah. damn Oscars. Yeah, they been did the research, and this is you know a few episodes back, maybe last year. Remember, I was telling you like, you know, why do we have to feel that we need to be accepted by their so yes. superior accolades? Not the episode that was, you know what I'm saying? Yes. We don't like we are already awards. We are already talented enough. We 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 got the Soul Train Awards. We got. You know, Continue to develop other awards for for ourselves, no, for our know. culture. Right, we create, we create the culture mm-hmm. that's dominant in entertainment yeah. on some real stuff. You know what I'm saying? They come to us. You know what I'm saying? They to come honest, to us. To be honest, and, I've never respected the Oscars. Okay, because we were nominated, but we couldn't go on the same door at one time. We couldn't be on that stage. Mm-hmm. What they said, so Holly Berry respect? had to reveal her breast before she got an award. Before she got one. Who did Denzel that? had, huh? Yeah. Who? Holly Berry before she oh, was oh, nominated. You mean, oh, you mean as far as like the actual. To be like, nominated, right. Yeah. You had to de- de- degrade yourself. To, to get, I thought it was. To get acknowledged. To sleep yeah. with that guy. Yeah. Who was his name? The actor, uh, the, the Caucasian actor. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, how long she been And Denzel on? had to act oh, like wow. a stone cold nigga. Nigga. To get, nigga, nigga, to get his award for. Yeah. for Come on. Um, what's Talk that? To me. What's that movie? Training Day. Training Day. Training Day. I which I, which I love that movie. I just yeah, watched it, it yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, can, I can watch that, that movie over and over. Back to back. But, but, it, but he should have got it from Malcolm X, though. Yeah. yeah. He, he should have got it from Glory. Hurricane. It's just a lot. Malcolm X. Come on. It's a lot. It's a lot. Come on now. Talk to me. It's a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm going to go as far as to say Kevin did the right thing. And the reason why I say he did the right thing to apologize. Because he he needs to protect his brand. Mm-hmm. He got a family. He don't. Because mm-hmm. listen, you know that community will tear you down. Right. They will tear you down. And um, my whole thing is, we in a sensitive era. This is a comedian. You know what I mean? But here's the thing. This and is it, my problem. He's a comedian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now you want to so join the lines on what you can say up there and talk about? Because you know what? Weather. They. <laughs> damn. <laughs> What they, I mean? They, what do you expect these comedians to start talking about? It's crazy. Food, they they clothes. they went and took some stuff out of his stand up, which yeah. I thought was crazy. Yeah. So? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I mean, they act like these comedians only talk about that community. But what about Seinfeld? They talk about everybody. What about Seinfeld? <sighs> right, I'm getting started. So my thing with the Kevin Hart thing, I mean. <laughs> 
I was hot and cold for it. I yeah. felt like mm. bow down, but when you didn't know no justification for what you did, you yeah. shouldn't have jumped on. We didn't need an explanation. Mm-hmm. You should have just said, gave. You should have just gave them your resignation, and that should have been the end of it. We shouldn't have heard yeah, no the, statements from him at man. all mm-hmm. because wasn't it a, at one time maybe like a year or two ago when there was like un, they heard these tapings from the Sony Studios or whoever he was doing the. Um, movie deal with or whatever, uh-huh. and they were talking mm-hmm. about him, and they were talking about black actors yep, or whatever. Yep. Yeah, and all the racism took, behind the he scenes. He took it yeah. with grace, and he was like, "Listen, at the end of the day, that's their opinion of me, but I'm still making money at the end because they still need me, yeah. right? Right. So at the end of the day, the Oscars, y'all needed him. True. Y'all wanted him. Y'all vetted him. Yep. So you already knew the type of person that he was. Right. Y'all wanted him to publicly be embarrassed yeah. in order to conform to be on a show that's exclusively for you with yeah. the exception of a few of us. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because that's basically what it was. Pretty much. So my thing was you should have said thank you, no thank you right. in the in the beginning. Yeah. And at the end of the day, until we take that stand, let there, there were never... people go. Did you notice that? <laughs> Less and less black people attend. Yeah. Um, some of them attend out of contractual yeah. deals right. because yeah. their show or right. their movie. Yeah. Right. You know, they invite you to show up, do mm-hmm. promo. Same thing with the whole uh, Monique. Remember, yeah. they were saying she wasn't doing enough promo. She right. got black yeah. right. gold, etc. Right. Right. And she was like, they getting paid, I'm not. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, you know, why am I doing these things? Why I got to show up? Mm-hmm. They don't got to show up. They don't yeah. have to promote as heavy. So she took a stance and got blackballed, right? Yeah. Yeah. So at the end of the day, less black people started showing up. You only see a few black people to show up because maybe their show. Mm-hmm. It's new. They mm-hmm. want to get out there. But yeah. I, like I said, I just look for the fashion. Yeah, <laughs> I totally agree. Like yeah, I, I mean, because you know, without without us, there's no nobody cares. Exactly, it's very beige. I so that word. pretty much. So we need to start taking a stand more and just start not going. Stop. Yeah. I like that stuff. Yo, just support our own stuff, yo. Pretty much. Well, the Soul Train Awards this year it was amazing. Oh, yeah. I yeah. ain't catch it. I gotta catch yeah. that. I thought it was great. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta see that. I even go back that. to American Bandstand. Remember American Damn. Bandstand? You couldn't even go on there. Damn, American Bandstand. But you could Bandstand. perform, but you couldn't be in that crowd. Stuff like that. I think about it, and that wasn't too long ago. It was in my mom's era. Okay. And I remember my mom telling me stories mm-hmm. how they wanted so bad to go on there. That's just but then when the Soul Train came down the pipe, there we go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, is that we have the opportunity to create and start our own. Yeah. And there can nev- never be another. What was that bombing? Move the, bombing. The Tusky. The, was that? What was that bombing? Oh, the you, first. Oh, you talking about with Black Wall Street? Black Wall Street. Yeah, yeah. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Tulsa, Tulsa Oklahoma. Yeah. Black people used to live there. Why you wanted to know? <laughs> Listen, okay. We ventured out there away from. We got away. Them. You didn't want us around. We got away. Then mm-hmm. what? You come and you bomb us. So. The um the bombing over there that Mayor Good took the fall for that wasn't the first actual airstrike bombing. Mm. The Black Wall Street was the actual first bombing mm. on a okay. on a on a um, urban city. On a urban, yeah. yes, yeah, definitely. And we were civilized, so what's the difference? Uncivilized, civilized. What the hell do you want from? Hey yo, we the we the most hated people on the planet. But we it's want just, to be out a lot, but they want us. Yeah, they want to but be us so but bad. we have to acknowledge that. We had to stick together and yeah, love unify. each other more. You know what I mean? Unify. But, you know. Everybody mindset not there. Yeah. And Sad. They all, yeah. I'm telling you, they did a they did a good job. I got applauded. They the, did a good the job. Conditioning the conditioning and the has, hatred and the separation, they did a good the job. Conditioning did That's the only thing I can applaud for. Because they did a good job. Now I'm trying to reconvert and program to be on the right page and the right path. Mm-hmm. That's the hard. People are losing their lives from that. We're going back into when you know you ain't want go. Don't go back into our master. Our plan. Yeah, that's what I feel like. Yeah. Shh, be quiet. Be quiet. Don't yeah. go back into our master. Our plan. We gonna die. Boom. Mm-hmm. Now sad. we got. This is crazy. Yeah, it's sad. It's really sad. It really is. So we're gonna get onto this next um, news article. I thought this was a really good one. Um, mm-hmm. The Philadelphia Eagles donate fifty thousand to bail out nine people out of jail. For the holidays, um, I thought this was a really dope article. Um, dope. I came across this. I didn't even know 
Um, the Eagle safety, Malcolm Jenkins, and he's the uh, Players Coalition founder. He said the cash bail system punishes poverty and punishes people of color at a grossly disappropriate rate, mm-hmm. which I totally agree. Um, so, yeah, this is a you know a dope story. Uh, I hope to see that we can get more um, professional teams to, to do stuff like this. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's not people that's, that's, that that's got bailed out of jail yeah. that, you know, they probably sitting. And that's the at only, at a low, they probably bell. couldn't it's even afford. Money. At a low bell. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? I wonder how they came to that determination to say that they were... I yeah. guess justified. Well, because well, people were saying earlier about how you, the Eagles are pissing you off right now. So oh, maybe they understand they must have been pissing the fans. I'm saying, like, well, we got to do something. Because <laughs> 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 we pissing our fans off. You know what? Here's the thing about Malcolm Jenkins. I love him on and off the, off the field. Mm-hmm. However, um, Malcolm Jenkins is doing this movement in a way of. I feel like conditions, right? Mm. You do this, I'll do that. Okay. If I can have mm. this, then you can have that. Mm. There's no real risk that he's actually taken, mm. right? So okay. when you think about a he, Colin Kaepernick, he's doing it as a man has he's doing it like his dream. I know where you're going to with this. Not do something, yeah, right? I know where you're going to not do something that he loves um, with no crying. Yeah. There's no sorrow. It's just like this is what it is and and that's that. Yeah. He's wholeheartedly passionate about what he's doing. Same thing for Malcolm Jenkins. He's just learned how to navigate he, a little he, different. He, he, he took he's, a politician a politi- Thank you. So he's taking yeah. a political movement with okay, in order for me to at least try to get something done, I need to conform mm-hmm. and and this is like my favorite word conform mm-hmm. to be able to do certain things and sometimes I have a problem with that because it's like no it is just black and white right or wrong Mm. and I feel like I understand sometimes that we need to um give a little bit Mm -hmm. you know some Mm -hmm. wiggle room so we can have what we want but he's not taking he's not taking a hit he's not taking that big big risk you know um so, I mean, you got some people who don't care and it's going to do whatever they want, right? Right. right. They're going to say whatever they want to say and do however, you know, it is that they think is needed to get, get the job done. Uh, and he's doing it in the very safe way. Mm-hmm. And that's that's all I'm going to say about that. Yeah. 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 Um, I want to say this. Uh, I'm going to read this real quick. Uh, the city of Philadelphia has one of the highest incarceration rates in the United States. Mm. And a University of Baltimore study shows that the rate of the guilty pleas are 13% higher for those who are detained before trial because they cannot bail themselves out. Mm. And um, a district attorney named Larry Krashner, he said, this should not be a country where you sit in jail because you were poor. Mm -hmm. Mm. So... All the behind the scenes stuff that's going on uh, right, right. with Michael J- Malcolm Jenkins and these politicians and prosecutors and this and that. Mm-hmm. Um, so they're looking at all these, you know, variables. Pretty yeah, all these variables. Uh, pretty much like what Meek is doing with the prison reform. Right. Like Meek was saying that he was sitting in jail with somebody where the, his bail was only a hundred dollars, and nobody he couldn't afford a hundred dollars to he be free. Just with a hundred dollars, you know what I mean. It's but sad. um, yeah, it's it's, it's, it's sad. So it's like, so you have all these people think it's just oh, uh, this person in jail because they yeah. need to be in jail. But yeah. it's a lot of stuff that goes on with this. Um, some people sitting in jail because they was told that the only reason, only way you can um get out of jail is if you accept a, a deal, mm-hmm. and this is something that they probably wasn't even guilty of, right? You know what I mean? So they like, yo, accept this deal, this three to five year deal. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Whereas the person like, yo, I didn't do it. Right. So they're like, well, if you didn't do it, you can either go to trial or accept this deal. So it's like, you know what I mean? It's like. Not educated in a new form of slavery. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. That's the whole prison system. You know, and they making money off it. Definitely. You know what I mean? Definitely making money off of it. Uh, Lady T, you, you got to. Uh, Another news story? 
Or um I'm gonna be honest right now. Mm-hmm. This is like a blooper moment for me. I did, but I've been so I didn't eat anything today. I just came straight in and just started drinking the uh, sweet red. Mm-hmm. <laughs> got you. I got you. So my mind what just went things? blank. I got it you. might come to me while yeah. we're in the midst of interviewing. Alicia. Okay. Okay. That's cool. Well, I'm going to let but you know. I'll just save it for the next yeah. episode. I'm, I'm going to let you know. <laughs> I have two more um, stories and then we're going to get into the well, interview. Give me some time then. Yeah. Um, give me the bid. Give me the bid. And these are two good stories. Okay. Um, and they were a brief ex NFL player. Work done. He gives away his. A hundred and thirty ninth home to a single mom. Oh wow! Um, he, he has a nonprofit organization called the Work Done Foundation, mm-hmm. and he gives away homes. And he has given away this year, twenty eighteen, his hundred and thirty ninth home to a single mother. So shout out Work Done and his organization, that's the Work dang. Done oh, Foundation. Yes, um, that's really dope. I mean, like two homes a week. That's great that's crazy. right there. That's, that's great crazy. news. Yes, you know that's I mean? great news. That's like King James. That's, yeah, 139 yeah. homes, yo. Man, that is awesome. You know what I mean? Um, that's news. That's, that's great news. news. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I want to see on the news. That's why I start watching the news, actually. And, and this this wasn't on the news. Exactly. Of course it's not going to be. This was on a, a website that, <laughs> I, um, that I found. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But um yeah, my next one is um Tyler Perry. He surprises Walmart customers by yeah. paying off a four hundred and thirty four thousand worth of outstanding layaway balances. Um, you know, shout out Tyler Perry for that, yo. You know, what I oh, mean it must feel sorry. good. It must mm-hmm. feel good to wake up mm-hmm. and be like, yo, I'm gonna get these broke niggas. Uh, excuse me, Biz. <laughs> like, no, stop. No, stop. Stop. Yeah, playing. please. No, uh, no, that's no, the no, no, no. But no, no, no. That's no. a good story. Because for the cool. holidays, you know. And he announced it. He went, yeah. he went live and announced it. Yeah, because he said he don't normally do this, but he right. said because of the social media area, right. you right. know, it's going to come out somehow. Right. You know what I mean? But Which um, is great. yeah, it's a real There's good story, yo. Real but good you know, story. A lot of people get depressed around the holidays. They definitely do. They go broke. They get depressed. Yeah. They commit suicide. They kill every damn body. Yeah. They, <laughs> How you kill the damn dog, the fish? How you kill everybody? Oh, the bird. I mean, the the alley, the, the cat that comes on the porch <laughs> looking for food. You kill everybody because you can't afford certain things. Because the holidays. This is man. just why. I'm sorry. This is just why I'm celebrating. No, I'm not Muslim. No, I just I just learned my history and I learned that these are paganism holidays. These are get rich holidays. And how all year you don't respect me. You don't want me damn near in these stores. Mm-hmm. But when I go in there for the holidays to shop for my family, you respect me. You like me. You love my money. But if I go in there on any regular day, you yeah. don't want me in and you call the security on me. Yeah. Come on now. Y'all got to open up. Y'all got to get. Yeah, y'all gotta, come on now. Seriously. That's yeah. facts. I told my kids, I was like, you're not getting nothing. Listen. Yeah. I will wear a four ninety nine shirt, four dollars ninety nine cent shirt, and make it look like a hundred fifty dollars. It's not Man, listen. You, okay, listen. Lady T put me on. Go right to the what's that? Consignment shops. The consignment oh, yeah. shops. shops. Man, listen. Them. What? I done went to Lady T put me on to the I knew nothing about them. How you really? think the rich stay rich? Yeah. They don't they not walking I around didn't here grab some stuff out of where, there well, that yeah. working hard for I them. probably would have paid for at Brooks Brothers, yes. I probably would have paid like three hundred dollars for a blazer. Mm-hmm. Three hundred dollars you know I mean? for I a blazer. Paid like, yeah. paid like ten dollars for a blazer. Exactly. Good shape, nothing everything. Wrong. Nothing put wrong. it in the cleaners. Wash it. Yeah. Brand new. You know what I mean? A really good one is like up Chestnut Hill. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you got one up Chestnut Hill? Yeah, yeah, I don't know that yeah. one. They got like four or five that I dip in and out of. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I need For to hit that days, up too then. On certain days, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Right. There's and nothing then, wrong with Sometimes it. like if you bring them certain things, you know, they give you like X amount of dollars mm-hmm. to shop mm-hmm. within the store. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's even better. Yeah. Clean yeah. trade, bagged up well and nice and good condition. You can swap out. No big bugs. The way it's about no, no big bucks. bucks. No, no big bucks. You no know what I mean? No big bucks. <laughs> no, that's great. But you um, have to be careful with that because I didn't know, like, you know that little prayer that you used to say when you was so, little. So I was telling my aunt, <laughs> I was like, so big bucks don't let the big bucks bite. Why you think they were singing that? I was like, that shit was real. That was real. Don't let the big bucks bite. 
Yeah, yeah. Yo. Don't, don't let the bad bugs bite you. And that's right. really a, a a serious issue nowadays. You it's know what I mean? But you got people living with it. They it's come a, to the they listen. You got people living with like it's like yep. it's part of the family. Yep. I well, let they me get on this, their shoulders. They walk down the street with them. Let me give you this brief story real quick. <laughs> I had a patient, right <laughs> in my in front of my face. <laughs> So she laughing right already. I said, I said, um, oh, excuse me, ma'am. Mm-hmm. You got a bug on your neck. She said, no, I don't. I said, no, you do. I said, it looks like a bed bug. She said, I don't got no bed bugs on me. Yo, like five of them joints start crawling up from her breast. I said, listen, stay right there. I went and got um, the doctor who she was seeing. And the doctor was like, oh, my God, you have bed bugs on you. So they said, keep her, close the door. Yeah. And she said, no, I don't. I, and she went like this to look. And they she said, oh, my God. She was scared. So how the fuck you, you ain't feel them crawling crawl on you? You know what's crazy? They was crawling up from her breast. No, no. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all a story. You know it's people out here that don't get bit by insects or bugs or flies or anything. I actually knew someone that never got bit Jeez. by a fly mosquito. The mosquito be on, they, they, they wouldn't bite them. Wow. You know, these people out here like that. that what, they don't, dirty? No, I don't know. I don't know what kind of blood they, they have. They subjected or, to the bites? Like, what? what the but hell? they would not listen. That sounds crazy. And I had them I cutting my tree and, and doing my yard because, see, I go out there. <laughs> uh-uh. I'm bit up. I'm looking like the boy off of, uh-uh. uh, no. what was that, Hush or what? Um, Hitch. Hitch, there you go. Will Smith movie. Yeah. Will Smith, that's how yeah. I'm looking. He had a reaction, and that's yes. crazy. No. Yes. Yeah. Okay? No. But I would have him out there, and he would come in the house, and nothing, he would have not a bump on him. <laughs> I go out there, they <laughs> all up on me. Yeah. No, I don't know how that, I don't know how she can't feel that. I, I just want to say there are people out here that don't get bit that um, are just immune yeah. to the insects. Are they like part insect? I don't know. I don't know. That's crazy. But um, we're going to get into this interview. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm going to start off with the first question. Okay. Um, Alicia, are you born and raised in Philadelphia? Yes. Okay. What section? North Philly, right off of 30 from Cumberland. Oh! Oh! North! Wait a minute. So you from North North? <laughs> yes. Some people don't believe me when they first meet me. They're like, oh, so where are you from? North Philly. Your whole nice. life. Nice. Whole life. That's dope. It's not where you from, it's where you at. It's just, and it's how you carry it's yourself. It's how you carry yourself. My mom mm-hmm. did a really good job keeping us out of the neighborhood and keeping us busy and whatnot. And we mm-hmm. was That's important. I thought we made pretty, pretty I thought we were pretty good. I didn't know we was like poor poor. Mm-hmm. Until yeah. I got a little older. You said poor poor? Yeah, I didn't realize we were <laughs> poor poor. Until mm-hmm. later on. Um Yeah, North Philly mm-hmm. girl. All mm-hmm. day. Okay. That's what's up. <laughs> you know, um, North, I remember when I was younger mm-hmm. and like a teenager or whatever, I used to always um, ask like, you know, as far as, you know, the dating stuff, I'm like, yo, oh, I could tell where you from, what, what uh-huh. second fun you said, you know what I mean? Because uh-huh. you could, you yeah, was able to do that about. back in yeah, the day. You always talk about Damn, you know what mean? Harder, right? It's hard now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, shit, you some. <laughs> well, I ain't you know, gonna get into that. It's not hard. No, it's hard. You think so? Sometimes it, is. it can be. It yeah. is hard. Mm-hmm. It is hard now. It definitely is, cause back in the you re- y'all remember, but I, I don't know your age. Always, always a question. You know, back in the day. But hold up, though. But you know, back in the day, it was a certain style mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. people would wear from certain sections of the Philly. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like I'll tell you this: a certain age person that I see, I know off the bat if they're from North Philly or South Philly. I don't know why I know that, mm-hmm. but I do. And when I ask, I'm like, <laughs> "Yep, I was right." Wow. So what is that? Let's let us know the secret. I can't. So <laughs> said, I can't. Real smooth with it. Real smooth. Real smooth. <laughs> I can't. Um, I cannot. I think it's because my mom and my dad are South Philians. Uh, so I just know. Okay. <laughs> and a South okay. Philian knows almost everybody because South Philly is so small. Small, right? So if you are a certain age, mm-hmm. I can be like from South Philly. They're like, oh yeah, I'm like. Yeah, they are. They are tight. They are tight in South. You Philly. just kind of can yeah. tell. Yeah. I don't South, know what it South is. South Philly, they unified they just, down yeah, there. They're unified. They're they are all the time. All the time. It's a certain section of uh, West Philly that was unified, and because um, I'm I'm from West Philly, you know, I always oh. got to throw that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there's a certain see West Philly got different sections, and right. this section I wasn't really part of, but from like 
39th on down um, to about 34th Street, mm-hmm. they like remind me of South Philly. They so mm-hmm. unified. The, they call it the Black Bottom. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And it's so unified so you down there. give me South Philly. I yeah. mean, uh, West Philly. He gave me North. He gave you North. And you know so what? I was just talking to him right, via right. social media and stuff mm-hmm. like that. He yeah, gave I'm me. Not, I was like, oh, he's. And I never North told Philly. you that, but I. That's what I got from I this. Saw, but he look, North Philly. I, yeah. yeah, you yeah, know what's yeah. funny? As far as you know, responding to both of y'all, um, a lot of people said that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Men mm-hmm. and females, because uh, I went to Roxborough High, so okay. a lot of the um the people I was cool with in Roxborough. Was from North. So did you hang out here at least a lot? I was hanging with the North people from North. Yeah, so you are know, you hanging out in North Philly? No, I wasn't hanging out in North okay. Philly. Okay, but I was you hanging. Hang somewhere yeah, all you the time. That but think about it. I'm up. in school with them though. I'm in school with the I North guess. guys. You know what I'm saying? So I got real cool with them. And they used to tell me. They used to be like, "Yo, we're from North," and I'm like, "No, nah, I'm from West." You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And so that North Philly vibe. Was cool. They rubbed on you. Yeah, yeah. It was cool. <laughs> and what I tell you, I said, "Man, I always got along with women from North Philly, right? Mm-hmm. All the time. I because always they, did." Because you have that aura about you. Like you don't come off as being from West. Like I never got that from you. Yeah. So hold up. So West what, Philly what, had a different reputation when I was. I, I gotta hear this. Younger. I gotta hear this. So my mom. So my mom was born in '61. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so her mom, so this will be her aunts. So they mm-hmm. born in what? We're going to say the 40s, perhaps the late mm-hmm. 30s, 40s. And she will always talk about her family that lived in West Philly. They were a little, she was like, they had money. So hold on, we're part of West Philly. Because of the houses it that they had. And wherever they were, I didn't get into the yeah. actual Probably area. Was but it was like. Winfield was like no, the Mount Airy mm-mm. I think it would be like. 50 something and like pine or spruce or okay. locusts. It was like yeah. she knew that nice they were going over there, there. they had houses right. and cars. Right, right. And they had money. So mm-hmm. they were a little bit different. They had porches and stuff like that. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh, so West Philly people had money? So that's when I stuck <laughs> into right. my brain. Like they were a little uppity. And I was like, uh, oh, because you know, we I go to it. West Philly, their they houses are a little bit bigger. Yeah, I get it. You know, I get it. I, now I see what you're saying. I yeah. get it. I get Their it. Because I'm thinking a little back. Bit different. Right. Like I felt like if you was from West Philly, you dressed real, real good. Yeah. You know, they you were. were a little bit more polished versus North Philly. You saw the grit. South Philly, you saw the grit. Yeah. And I was That's like, true. West Philly, West Philly, West West Philly Mount well. Airy, Germantown. Yeah. You're like, oh, they a little, they a little different. Germantown right. was different yeah, too. Yeah. yeah, so I was like, yeah, oh, definitely. West yeah, and that's that's interesting. That's how we. That's how yeah. I was thinking about it. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay. So you you got a question, uh, yeah. Lady T? Oh, um. So I ask, I always ask women this. Okay. Do you have like a system? Like, how can you juggle? Like, cause I, for me, I wear many hats. Okay. okay? Sometimes I make them mixed up, but not all right. the time. <laughs> okay. So, how are you able to? Juggle and able to give back. Um, so it's got to be genuine, yeah, right? So definitely. me giving back is a no brainer. Great answer. And it's just incorporated in my everyday life. I don't care if I just gave you my lunch or mm-hmm. I shared my lunch with you, or um, I might have picked something up from the store, or mm-hmm. you, anything. It's just mm-hmm. that giving back part is just natural because you can do it in any form, right? Any capacity. Right. Uh, I when I when I coach moms and even when I say this on my podcast and things like that, I write a today list. Um, and it's everything that I need to get done today. Mm-hmm. And I tell people to make the today list short. Don't put anything on this list over five. Like, don't go past five. Okay. I don't care if you know. Like, so oh, I can limit. get it. I can get it done. Who? Nobody asked you if you can get it done. <laughs> right, right, right. Five, five. <laughs> and it's right. technically four because one of those things is give yourself an hour. Right. Just I period. Like okay. I give myself. I don't care if I'm taking a nap, mm-hmm. being totally quiet, listening to some music. I just had to give myself an hour around nobody. Um, That's needed. And I it's, agree. it's so needed. You need to to digress. And as busy as I am, it was warranted. Okay. So I needed to do that. And I'll write down the top four things that I need to get done for the day. It could be big and it could be minute. But okay. And then I just go from there. But overall, I need to write down what I feel as though that I need to complete for the month or the week. You Sometimes that can be overwhelming for some people can be like, oh, I can plan the rest of my year out. 
<laughs> you do. Yeah, you break. Because yeah. <laughs> I got to play it down to the exact time. Okay. Hour. Like, I'm not just, <laughs> right. I can't do it. And I tell people to start off small. Don't try to do anything too big. Mm-hmm. Um, and be realistic with yourself about what you know you can do and what you can't do. Right. Um, we have this thing of we can do everything. Like I told you before, it's like, yeah, you can do everything, but you don't have to do everything. Right. right? So right. that's where I'm at with that. I've learned to scale back. I learned that I needed to feel busy mm. and that turned into a thing of me running away from what was really going on as long as I looked and appeared busy or I kept myself busy mm. um, that I would be safe and I didn't have to deal with like my thoughts and my feelings or so much reality reality mm. but I learned that you you gotta tackle that part yeah, and I eventually. needed to, just to scale back so found out what's mainly important that's building up to your overall goal mm. um and, and, and go from there. That's great. I, I learned yeah. what's important. Yeah. I just right? learned something from you just now. Yeah. I love that. I yeah. love learning I, something. That's how I So you said five because mine's be ten. <laughs> you doing too much. So I'm going to cut my shit back. <laughs> cut it back. I'm going to cut it back. Even if you feel like you're like, dang, I have room to do one more thing. So what? You got tomorrow. Right. I, I need time for yeah. myself. Yeah. You and I tomorrow. learned that because actually I've been having breakdown moments. Oh, yeah. Talk about it. I'm yes. overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Right. I started getting mm. migraines. Mm. Right. So your body is telling you that you it, that you it, are chill sick. out. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. We stopped <laughs> our, we had conversations about like my sugar and all these other things. Mm-hmm. I was having mm-hmm. a really bad health year from mm. the end mm. of la- half of last year into this year and we I, we couldn't pinpoint what was going on. And my they diagnosed me with um, abnormal blood chemistry. Mm. because my levels were all over the place they made no sense whatsoever mm. and I was trying to figure out like what is wrong with me I was like am I working too much I'm like this job is really not stressful like I'm not right. stressed at work and it wasn't really that what it was was I had all this built up trauma mm. I had all this mm. built up anxiety I was having panic attacks I suffered yeah. from anxiety really really bad Damn. um yeah. So I was internally making myself sick. And then what does the body do when you're sick? It immediately goes yeah. into defense and attack mode. Like, let me get her yes. better. Mm-hmm. So I was making myself sick. Mm-hmm. And so that's why my my therapist told me, she was like, they can't tell you really what's wrong with you. She said, because it's you. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I was like, wow. She said, yeah. Damn. How nervous is this? Because she said, oh, she's true. super dope. She said, like she is. Let me tell you something. The first time we met, I was low key interviewing her. I wasn't even doing the doing the third. Right, right, I was right. low key interviewing her. Like, <laughs> let me Smart. see. Can I fill her out? Right. And um, I went through about four or five before I was like, she's the one. Mm-hmm. Before they was like, oh, no, you're going to go to her. No, I'm going to pick and choose who I right, got. And right, I found right. her. She's great. Um, wow. Her name's Nzinga. She's you, so dope. Wow. I will share. Is she African American? She is. She's yeah. just beautiful. She's a wow. beacon of light. She's so down to earth. Yeah. Um, and she is reciprocating the energy that you give. So mm-hmm. if you're a person that like is real mild, low key, she's gonna give you back mild, low key. If she feels though she can, you know, open up right. with you like that, she's right. gonna give that to you. So she's just she's super awesome. I remember one time hitting her, I was like. She's on maternity leave. I was like, oh, my God. My mom's mm. here. I'm here. She's like, you know, this is your trigger. Calm down. Relax. I was like, what am I? She said, calm down. This is what it is. Mm. And she was like, I was like, I'm sorry. I texted you. this like, she said, it's fine. Just calm down. And I was having a whole panic attack because mm. my mom was a trigger for me. And I needed to realize that that's what that was. Damn. So, yeah. So, wow. you need it. You need to yeah. get time. Do it. Because wow. let me tell you something. Damn. An emotional breakdown is yeah. scary it because is. you don't know what's about to happen. You probably low key have panic attacks and don't realize it. Yeah. I, I realize it now. Oh, I realize shit. it now, and I didn't know what it was at first. Yeah, but I realize it now. And yeah. I'm so busy. I'm so able to tell and pinpoint someone else's, but I wasn't able to do it myself. Listen, but lately, you know, I realize it. You know, it myself. You, no, let me tell I was, you. And I, I told this to, to somebody else. Another <laughs> mindset. I knew it was something wrong. I just didn't want to face it. Yeah. I was masking it with something else. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. yeah. And it's like, you know, you just don't want to deal with it. And right. then as soon as you learn to deal with yourself, you mm-hmm. become a little lighter. You yeah. become a little better. I yeah. told him before that I'm very transparent yeah. with my yeah. when I'm coach. Like, I tell them if I'm having, I said, I would drive home. You're human. Sit in front of my house. Right. And cry. Yeah. Because yeah. it just was a long Because you're human. Day. Right. Yeah. You're human. Right. That's dope. You got to understand that. You got to. Once you realize that, that's why I said we need to, you got to love yourself first. Yeah. Before you can understand about loving anybody else. You yeah. got to understand to love yourself and 
Yeah. If you do that, you're great. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and yourself too. Some mm-hmm. people don't even know themselves. They don't. Spend some time alone with yourself. Yes. Yes. Watch how scary that is. No, man. <laughs> Yo, I always say. I always, put my own self in a horror movie. I, 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 I always say, um, once the silence goes, you locked in the room. Mm-hmm. Some people not comfortable, comfortable with their own thoughts. They mm-hmm. not. And when you locked in yourself in a room, not locked literally, but yeah. like you know what you mean in yeah. a room by yourself, mm-hmm. no TV on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No people around talking, and then you hearing your thoughts, mm-hmm. and you ain't comfortable with them thoughts. Yeah, seek some help. Seek some help. There's you know what I mean? It's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. And, but, and there's uh, no shame in it. There's no yeah. shame. No. There's no shame in it. No, mm-hmm. definitely. No. That's why I'm going around calling people crazy. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's I'm going around yeah. that's actually. Because that's, that's a that's, dangerous that's a dangerous term. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's, that we have taken out of context. It's right. like sometimes you we joke around with that, but that person could really be crazy. Crazy. Yeah. In a sense yeah. of help. Ma- in need of help. Marilyn Manson is crazy. Yeah. You think so? No, 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 no. I think he's insane. He's, he, he, there you go. That's my he's fact. He's beyond crazy. Not he's crazy. insane. He's insane. Why you say that? The character Dexter is insane. Yeah. You never watched that. I've never watched Dexter. American I Psycho think Marilyn. Was insane. I think insane. Marilyn Manson. Uh-huh. Um, I'm sorry. No, what's his name? What Dexter? No, what's the actor's name that you're talking about? That plays in Dexter. Yeah. No, no, no. What? No, you. I said Marilyn Manson. Okay, what? so I. So he said Marilyn Manson, and then he he's saying also too the, 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 the show, show Dexter, Dexter is insane. Is okay. insane. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. you got to be insane to you're play right. an insane yes. person. But you, you know what I'm talking about. I know what you're saying. The guy that helped the skelter situation. Yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah. Okay, well, he yeah. had those women kill those yeah. people for him. Yeah. Right. He's insane. He's right. insane. But, um, damn. We went to a whole nother city. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, <laughs> this, is what, this is what the hit Jesus do, though. We have yeah. you thinking. We have you. Yeah, because I'm over here, here like. Just listen, we crazy. have you dissecting your own damn cranium. Like, open it up like, look, I yeah. got a cranium. Let me use it. Because yeah. I'm over here about. listening to her. I'm like, damn. Hold that, up. That, Wait a minute. That is crazy. You know what I mean? That is crazy. Yeah. And guess what? I just thought about what I wanted to share. <laughs> 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 Which was, and I don't have it right in front of me, but as y'all know, so many years ago, it was this doctor that had over uh, 500,000 African American women commit suicide so many years ago. This didn't make it in the history books. This is actually something that you got to pretty much dissect research. Yeah, research. Where was this? This was in, I think, it was in China. It was one of those other countries. Yes, yeah, it did do a lot. Oh, that's they do a lot. Hey, this doctor. Stuff. Yeah, I was right. about to say that. Right. Ritual. It was, it was like other that. nationalities that yeah. did it as well, but it was mainly African American women. I mean, my that, mom just told me today, like, no, she was like Normans. She was like, "Did you Mormons?" She was like, "Did you know they tell people like if you ain't married, you ain't getting into heaven?" I was like, "Well, gosh darn it, if I should die before I get married, yeah. so I'm just not." Well, don't get me started on the Mormons. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. Like, I mean, I watched a documentary on, on their situation. It's deep, yeah. right? And, it's like um, very much a cult brainwashing. Yeah, yeah they, they 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 following spaceships and all that kind of stuff. So I'm a, I'm a chill on that. Though. I just want to say this real quick. Yeah, and this has followed me through my adulthood. My mother said to me at a very young age and she would repeat it never let someone control your mind once mm. someone is controlling your mind so they right. have you for life mm-hmm. so right. that means they have your soul mm-hmm. they have your thoughts mm-hmm. they have your everything never allow someone that much power over you yeah that means that if you're with a clique of people right mm-hmm. this is a problem example and okay they don't like this certain person Okay. But you do. Mm-hmm. But just your clique. But if I re- if I want to remain with my clique and be must stay strong with my clique, mm-hmm. I cannot like this person as well. Well, guess what? I was always the opposite. So therefore, at the end of the day, I had to wind up fighting my clique. Mm-hmm. Because you're not going to control me mm-hmm. on how I feel on my likes or whatever. Right. So with that being said, I pass it on to my children. Okay. Be your own leader. Yeah. Don't be a follower. It's okay to get along. But if you feel as though in your heart, because you get those feelings. Right. 
you get those feelings and you you get that insight. Mm-hmm. Everyone's born with common sense. Everyone's born with that intuition. No, they're not. No, they're not. No, no, no. You are from a baby. They, you start out fresh. Everybody's not born with common sense. I no, have been convinced. No, no. But I'm saying as a baby, as a baby. You're, but I at some like point in your life, with the, with that, everyone's with born with it. Everyone's given that yeah, gift because yeah. you're given that gift for life. So everyone is born with it. But it's you. It's up to you whether you want to keep it or let it go, or you gonna allow someone to come in and steal that joy from you, or steal that yeah. from you, people, steal that gift from you because people can do that. Yeah. So they yeah. become stronger and better. Yeah. And that's what we're dealing with a spiritual war. Yeah. People' worldview be shaped differently yes, by the is. time they become an adult. Become an adult. Yeah. You know what I mean? I gotta say, a young child. You know, de- with me dealing with the residents every day, mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. they definitely are all book sense. I mean, they probably are walking to a motherfucking wall if you didn't tell them to. Um, because <laughs> I don't get it. Wait. You know what I'm saying? Some of this stuff. You the head down. Yes, because. <laughs> like, I don't get it. Like. Right. I, I, if I'm in a lab and I got a needle in somebody's arm and you say to me, is the lab open? <laughs> <laughs> Well, what am I doing? What are you doing? Side work? Yeah, it's, uh, I'm literally. First of all, it's, it, it, you 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 violating the the code of ethics, right? Because you coming in the lab, right? I'm I'm dealing with a patient, and you bringing a patient to me right. in a lab, like you you out of pocket, right? You know what yeah. I'm saying? This, this could be an HIV patient I'm dealing with, mm-hmm. right? And you you bring somebody else in the situation. And the patient be even when a, when a doctor lee up like yo the, what? the lab yo lab open, and the patient be like yo <laughs> why are they in here right now they upset right blood pressure Done going up ease. right you know what I'm saying right. it's like now they I mean, they not upset with me yeah they not upset with me sense. you know what I mean and, yeah books, that's what I'm saying that smart. common sense thing and it's like it's gotta be an Have equal a degree. balance right yeah oh, people it's people running around here with degrees yeah. and less behind they mean name nothing and they back pocket and forgot it's there first of all the degree shit mean nothing because yeah. I know people yeah. that cheat their whole fucking <laughs> college career and they got a degree based on cheating. They got the so, girl based on because who they know. So even no, though just, they just got they know they too. They, the they, 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 they ain't do the work. They ain't do the work. That's they ain't do the work. Cause they, people so that don't like, mean you. That don't mean you. That don't mean you got a degree. Don't mean yeah. you smart. Yeah. Maybe because you sure. smiled the professor a little more. Probably. Or you got your knees dirty a little more. Or you got. <laughs> it don't matter. Like, but everybody walking around yeah. here with degrees. And don't matter. Me, hey, that listen. used to be such a. Uh, a standard. Yeah, yeah. it was like, like the, you up with hell. Like I had an extra line or something. You know, treat me this extra. Right. No, I've been around too many people with degrees to know that Listen, that means nothing, nothing to me. To me, I'm sorry. That doesn't make you better worse, than me. It doesn't make worse. me, you know, stupid or, mm-hmm. or anything. That type of thing mm-hmm. does not matter. Mm-hmm. Um, probably why I don't go around talking about my education as much because mm. what I do had nothing to do with what I went to you, school for anyway. Yeah, you don't yeah. even you don't it's want crazy. that to the the represent you anyway. Right. I work yeah with I mean? a person who throws titles around a lot because mm. at the yeah. end of the day that's all that person has. And yeah. nobody cares that's all about he has. It but yeah. you. Yeah. So let me get into my it's question. <laughs> um what made you actually get into wanting to have a non profit for um for for mother, to help mothers out financially, because um, I see that you give them ther- group therapy. Uh, I see that you uh, get into the mentoring of younger women. Mm-hmm. What what made you want to say I want to get into that? Like, was it like experiences that uh, happened in your life or whatever? Or I didn't want to do that. Oh, <laughs> damn. Pull that head back and talk. You don't that mic to speak that talk. I did not want to have a nonprofit organization. My seem like God close, brought you to this close friend. She is my VP, my second mind, my my second mind, my mm-hmm. right hand, the left hand, the back, the front. She was like, "No, but this, this is what you're gonna do." I'm like, "Well, that's not." It. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, "I just want to do what I do on the side call it a day." She was like, "Yeah, but you're not." And she would just low-key and be like, oh, so, you know, can I have this? And can I do it? And I turned around. She was like, yeah, so by the way, just sign this. And I trust her. And I'm signing stuff. Like, oh, what's this for? Oh, you know, because we need this. I'm like, oh, okay. And then I low-key had paperwork come in. I was like, oh, surprise. You got a nonprofit. Oh, wow. She saw something in you. 
She's so freaking. I love yeah. her so much. That's dope. <laughs> so, so you're not alone. You, no. Earlier you told me you're well, alone. Well, she's my behind the scenes. She's, yeah. Um, yeah, she's that's having dope. some real uh, health issues that has put okay. her down for wow. a while. So I don't bother her. Well, our much. prayers go to her. Yes, make yeah. sure all the she time. I try to tell her, I was like, I miss Loki, miss you. She's oh. like, I know. Mm. So I, I leave her alone because I will bug her to death all day and night. Um, mm-hmm. But. I already had this volunteerism in my blood, in my mm-hmm. in my body. Um, mm. Like I said, I told you we was like poor, poor. I didn't know he was that poor. Yeah. Thought poor, this poor. was regular, and um, so it became natural for me to give back. And then my kids were doing it with me anywhere I was going. Them kids was going with me anyway because who right. watching them? Right. And they belong to me. Right. So we were just doing it, and then. Um, Literally, the Hustle Mom started off as a blog. It was just me going on there and telling my mom stories. Like, oh, it sucked being a mom today. Oh, these kids won't stop crying. <laughs> oh, I just want to cry in the bathroom. They keep finding me. And people were receptive right, to it. And they were saying, oh, my God, me too. And, oh, my God, do you ever have meetups? And do you? And I was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what are you talking about on TV? Um, <laughs> it probably took me a good six, seven months to reveal who I was. Mm. Nobody knew it was me unless you were, like, close to right, me. Knew right. that I was operating as the hustle mom. But there was no face. Um, nobody knew who I was. There was no real name. It was just, like, out there putting out context. Mm. And then my girl was like, we should do, like, a mom meetup. And I was like, yeah. I mean, I guess. I don't like people. So, um, we did. And I, I remember, 15 moms came out yeah, to meet me. I, re- I remember. Um, That's awesome. <laughs> I remember maybe about two years ago. I don't know how long we followed each other on mm-hmm. social media. It's been a while Maybe now. about two, three years maybe ago. Maybe, like three years. You invited me to an uh, event that you was having somewhere up City Line Avenue. I don't know. Um it was like a um, a mixer or something okay, like that. Okay, probably so. Yeah. I couldn't make it though because um, of the, the time and whatever. I think I had to get my daughter, whatever. But um, yeah, like so, you've been doing this for a minute oh, now. Wow. I you love know it. what I mean? I love it. And How many years? The actually? grind. Hmm? How many years? I was incorporated in 2014. I got my five I know, yeah. C3 I knew I was a tripping. Wow. Yeah, it's been a while. I wow. knew. It's, it's 2018. Okay. So, okay. yeah. yeah. I've definitely it's been. been a while. That's good. I've been That's following great. you on social media yeah. for That's a minute great. now. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. Um, when those women came out, I think 10 of them turned into like Hustle My members. And we were just doing a Hustle My member. Damn. Thing. And we had members. We had a good member run for maybe like a year and a half. And then okay. I mm-hmm. had to stop it. Uh, for multiple reasons. Um, some moms just became overwhelmed with life, right? Mm. And they didn't realize how serious that the work that I was doing was serious. Like, I needed participation. I needed mm. dedication. And still to this day, I'm still tight with these moms. They invite me out. We hang out. They come over. I cheer them on from the side. We still popping up at their kids' games. They come into my kids' stuff. And right. we're still a tight knit. It's just that they're we kind of disbanded the member thing because... It was just a conflict, like right. scheduling. Yeah. They couldn't do it, personal things, things like that. But um, we're looking to bring it back. Mm-hmm. People have been asking. Right. I said, I'm going to low-key bring this back. But we're going to do it where it doesn't feel as aggressive, right? right? Okay. Um, people's like, I want to be a hustle mom. I'm like, y'all don't really know what it means. Like, it's serious. So I had to scale the it back. The first word alone. It's a lot. It's a lot. Right? But I'm learning that. Like before, we don't got to do a lot. Right. We need to learn how to delegate, delegate, right? Mm-hmm. So that's my biggest right. flaw. I'm learning how to delegate because it's my baby, right? And it's like, all right, never mind, I'll do it. And then I end up doing everything because I haven't yet felt right. comfortable letting somebody else take over. But I would just go from things that I would normally do that I wanted to see get done in my in my okay. own community. And so we started off uh, really with the Red Heart event because it was mm-hmm. that was my very first public event. Um, in the community because heart awareness mattered to me. Okay. Um, when be- right before I did the event, a childhood friend of mine died um, wow. from a heart condition that he had all his life since I met him. We were friends since kindergarten. Oh, wow. And um, we ended up giving him like an award to his family, and I had his sister come out and everything. And then my cousin had died the year before because mm-hmm. heart disease runs in my family. He was 16 years old. Oh, wow. And he presented himself as this healthy athlete. He played the game that night. He won. He went to bed. He didn't wake up for school the next day. 
And then my grandfather, you know, he had heart disease. Um, he had like a triple bypass. And so it was like, whew, heart disease, this is real. Right. And then it's like connected to all these other things. And it was like this big headline, oh, black people, people of color, women, women, women. I was like, oh, it's time to put the awareness out. It's time mm-hmm. to get people gravitated to this known issue. Mm-hmm. So I turned into this red heart event so that I do it every year. So it first started off as just me honoring those with heart conditions that had passed away and giving out some some information about what heart disease is and how to look out to them. Now I have volunteer nurses that I have um, met over the year who come out and check your blood pressure and check your sugar re- and tell you. I remember you yeah, hitting me up. Yeah, yeah seeing if anybody, about, if anybody yeah. could come out um, to do this public service work and see if they were allowed to do these things because... Okay. You know, this is turned into an event. We're ready to get geared up and start in February again because that's Heart Awareness Month. Mm-hmm. And um, and it's Valentine's Day, so it's cute, it's hard right, and right. stuff. Yeah. And I got my girlfriend. She's a chef. She comes out and she prepares healthy meals. Oh, yeah. I got a couple people that will do that, like you know, red camps. meat. Nice. You know, red meat is part of the reason why heart people get heart disease. So you ready for this? So here was another reason. I thought when I first started, I was like, oh, I'm going to gather all this money and I'm going to donate to the Red Heart Association, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. No. I know you're going. I dive deep into this mm-hmm. organization and I realize that going. they go on this website and they start telling people how to create their heart healthy with wrong information mm-hmm. on purpose. I watched a documentary about this. On so I know purpose. Going. So you know where I'm going. I was yeah. like, this is it. I can help my own people in my community, giving them real information, right? right? right. And this is how I started to change my eating habits and my lifestyle. And we just went from there. People were receptive to it. This last one I just did, I gave out three, four hundred dollars worth of produce, fresh, bagged it all up, vegetables, fruits. Bag, take what you want. Hmm. Just take it. And I had it um, at a Lonnie Young Rec Center. Wow. Yeah. I was grabbing guys out the gym. Three? Was it three or four? Three or four people in the gym. They were just there waiting. The kids practicing. One blood pressure through the roof. Mm, mm, mm. Through the roof. Wow. On a regular Saturday. Sitting there. Didn't just sitting there. Another guy. He, we were friends. His was a little elevated. Right. Two people had sugars over 200. Oh. Mm, mm, it's just mm. stuff like that. Right. It's like nobody told you what that meant. So it was like, now we got nurses, they're giving you information. I got stuff that I outlined that's, you know, information based. And then, you know, we had um, health partners and um, Keystone Mercy come out, um, give information, you know, for people that either have those insurance okay. plans. Um, and if they don't, they, um, you know, they can get information. I had Rite Aid come out. Because they were testing also. They, you know, they, they test for, right, right. for simple things. They'll check your glucose. They'll check your uh, pressure. And I just had all these good people come out mm-hmm. that it mattered to them. They didn't know that half the stuff is free. It's accessible. Wow. They just don't know. So it's I'm so the type dumb. person that's pushing out information right. that is free, but nobody's really spreading it. So mm-hmm. that became, I felt like, my responsibility mm-hmm. as an adult and to right. my community that I know all this information. Why am I keeping this in myself? I want a strong right. community. I want a strong village. I want everybody to be healthy. So, and that's really where it went. And then we just started having uh, community resource events at the end of the school year, so they know what's going on for the summer into yeah. the fall. Then it was a, a hustle back to school, and then it was I teamed up with other people. We were doing Thanksgiving mm-hmm. and Christmas at mm-hmm. the shelters. So it just it turned into that. Um, but. I love servicing and helping people. It's something that's natural. It doesn't feel like work to me. Right. Um, if I can do it and never have to worry about a job and I knew all my bills were paid, I would do it yeah. for free. Like, I yeah. just would do it. And my girlfriend was like, no, because they get money for this. And, and that's genuine. And this is yeah. what's going to happen. And that's, yeah, and, and that's how it started, mm-hmm. to be honest. The mom coaching and stuff came later. It came from having a conversation mm-hmm. with another mom on the right. sideline. It came mm-hmm. from having a conversation with a little girl on the mm-hmm. sideline for me to develop a mob, which is all mentees on board, to the school district taking it and saying, well, I shouldn't say school district, but mastery, um, saying, can you come here? Okay. Yeah, I can come here right. on Saturdays. You right. going to open up school for me? Yeah, we're going to open up for you. We got girl. I'm going to be there. Why not access that? You're in our community. Why, Why not, not be able to access right. that? Why That's not? Yeah. So I was there for two years. This is my first year where they were paying me. And they paid me very well to come in to talk to their girls. So it's patience. Mm-hmm. And then my mom coached and I just started putting up there. And people were, can I get 45 minutes? Can I get an hour? Can I? And then that's how we went. Wow. Mm-hmm. And it just keeps growing, but at a good pace for myself that I don't feel too overwhelmed. Okay. Because so, yeah. cool. just recently, um, 
I just, you know, started following you over uh-huh. and I signed up for your event for December the 15th. Oh, did you? Are you coming? Absolutely. Girl, I'm so excited. I am so excited. Wow, that's I dope. feel as though I'm a hustle mom. Yes. So when I saw that, a parent hustle mom, I said, hold up. I got to couple shirts of and all from you for yes. I know and it's hustle moms. Yes. Yes. And yes. 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 And I see the whole thing is like I'm I'm an energy <laughs> reader, right? Mm-hmm. Even though like I didn't meet you in person to now, yeah. But us conversing through social media mm-hmm. over the years, I still feel energy to it. Not on some old perv shit, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, 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 yeah. you know I never came at you like no, that. It's never. always been regular conversation yep. shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I always dealt, I always felt what felt your energy is always good and mm-hmm. positive and Thank you. just real. And I'm like, damn, my co-host, Lady T, you know what I'm saying? Like, she a community. Person. I call I call her. <laughs> she already know. I call her a star in the hood. This is her hood. Right. You know what I'm saying? Where okay. we at. And she always is part of the community, mm-hmm. doing things in the community. And I'm like, damn, this is perfect. This is mm-hmm. a perfect match to have mm-hmm. you on the podcast. and Because and, Lady T, she didn't know. I said, yo. I said, we're going to have a hustle mile on there. I was just fucking with She's like, why who that? I said, yo, this is like a friend of mine that I met through social mm-hmm. media. I said, she dope. She got this. I said, so that's why I hit you up. I'm like, yo, yeah. send me your bio. I sent it to the time, late T. And she was like, yo, damn. So that's why I was like, I knew it was good, good mm-hmm. connection. Yeah, I was you know like, oh, okay, so tell her next <laughs> yeah. Sunday. <laughs> tell yeah. her next Sunday, yeah. blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I gave you two dates, and she you did. was like, this I'm is the one. Up. So, because yeah. I was yeah. like, because uh, it was supposed to be someone else, and I was like, well, uh, listen, tell Hustle Mom <laughs> ASAP. Right. Yeah. ASAP, because that's what we're gearing for. Like, the that's community. For, the of community. Course. More community based. This more is why genuine, this more platform genuine. was created. Yeah, yeah. yeah. because yeah. Um, that's actually like part of our law, not slogan, but model is, yeah. is is to give. This platform was created to give the voice for the people in the community that are hood geniuses and that's trying to they they might not have that huge the platform audience. behind right. them, right? But we, the voice of the common folk, right? Okay. That got things going on, right? Whatever they got going on, mm-hmm. come on here and holler at us. Talk to us. Right. You can speak your talk, spread your brand, let people know. You know what and I mean? Some um, people are embarrassed. Some people don't know how to um, express themselves. Yeah. It's unspoken thoughts. It's however you want to get it across, you get it across because that's who you are. Right. Mm-hmm. Because everyone doesn't have the same form of, ed- of ed- education. Right. Yeah. So don't be but, ashamed. But don't, don't get it twisted, though. Don't get it twisted. Never. Some people have education. And they still don't know how to communicate. Exactly. So exactly. I, I have dealt with millionaires, business owners, whatever. Right. And um, with me doing business in the music industry, mm-hmm. that's still a business. I understand business. Mm-hmm. And I see the way some of these people work. I'm like, damn, they got this money, but they don't understand business. Yeah, don't and then they don't understand yeah. the reason why like, they don't last long or mm-hmm. why things is not working yeah. because they didn't take the time to read, to educate yeah. themselves. Mm-hmm. They think, oh, I got this money. All I got to do is pay somebody. Yeah. No. Even time. though you the owner, you still need to know. Yeah. You still need to, yeah. And I feel like Definitely. that comes later, right? Mm-hmm. That comes it's later crazy. with you delegating and saying, I'm going to pay you to do X, Y, and Z. Yeah. Like, let me at least try to figure this out. Mm-hmm. And then a part of that is like, know what you're good at, know what you're mm-hmm. not good at. Too. Exactly. Right. Like, know, like, I exactly. just cannot do the books. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody got to hire a professional at this point. Yeah. You, know what I mean? you exactly. got to be real yes. with yourself and yes. say what you can do and what you can't do because it matters. And I'm so super, super, super big on professionalism. Um, I just, I can't. I was groomed in in the corporate world. So I was like, I know what it's supposed to look like. Mm -hmm. I know how you're supposed to act. Mm -hmm. And when I see certain things, it's like, that's why some things are not lasting. This is why you're not going past this is because there's no professionalism there and right. and that bothers me but let me tell you this I will tell you in a heartbeat this is how y'all operate this is the same energy that I'm going to possibly give back to you right. and I'm if I really care about you I might pull you into the side and say you really should be doing like this you mm. really should be you know acting or you know you know behaving in, in a particular manner but if you want to do what you want to do because it works for you go right on ahead mm-hmm. but I'm a, you won't miss me with this yeah I like that mm-hmm. so okay. um what we're going to do is I'm going to tell you to set up now. Um, we're going to 
We're going to get into your Twitter poll Uh-oh. situation. We're going to talk <laughs> about that. I on Twitter. So I got two Twitter pages. I got Raw, Raw Me. Mm-hmm. Okay, Raw Alicia Nicole. I change my name every now and again. I think right now mm-hmm. I am. Am I Elizabeth Warren? Oh, no. I'm, no. I'm no Here longer Elizabeth right Warren there. with a nay. I am now a Claire Underwood. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> and that came from Claire Underwood um, mm-hmm. House of Cards. Prior to that was based off of Elizabeth Warren, the senator. Okay. But I changed everything to start with an A. Okay. And prior to that it was Olivia Cole. <laughs> <laughs> You know, whatever whatever superwoman I feel like being right, at right. the time. That's cool. And, um, that's, in a, my that's, bio, that's the dope thing about Twitter. Yeah, in right. my bio, you I, could be I said, Mickey Mouse. listen, I'm a Gemini, so you're going to get two people. Damn okay? Gemini. Wow. You're going to get two oh, wow. people Damn in Gemini. my tweet. And it, and it says my tweets are all over the place. So I mm-hmm. might talk about food, and then 10 minutes later, I might drop some science on you. When your birthday? Then, June 2nd. Oh, man. Damn Gemini. I'm a but Gemini. um <laughs> we're gonna my get into that. Oh yeah, she's a special one. Who? <laughs> my mom's birthday is June seventh. Oh, oh, that's right, you That's why did. I came right in yeah, and, just, and my father's birthday. Because... His birthday was May 29th. Mm, He's wow. Gemini. He did, but he them Gemini's is off the hook. But um no, they usually they usually they all the Gemini's I ever met, highly mm-hmm. intelligent. Very mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Right. Intelligence first always get me, mm-hmm. and that's male or female. female. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Right. And I know a lot of Gemini's. I'm like, some of the best people. It's ridiculous. The they be cool artists. as shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we but, um, hold an array of talents. Yeah. So Especially with uh, energy, we're we gonna get into <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're gonna get into your Twitter poll, <laughs> and then we're gonna <laughs> do this thing. We're going to do this thing that the Hood Geniuses like to do with some of our guests. Okay. Um, I think you will have a lot of fun with this. And it's called Questions That Matter. Okay. Um, we're going to do like that. that. Yeah. Okay. Questions That Matter. But um, so, yeah, we're going to get into your Twitter poll right now. So, um, A. Claire Underwood, a.k.a. <laughs> Alicia Nicole, um, had a Twitter poll where she she actually asked, uh, she said, <laughs> black women are not in relationships. Mm. Why is that? And the poll was, the, it was three, well, four. Four options. First option was uh, black men want non-black women. Section, second option was black men are gay. Third option was social because of social media. And the fourth option was all of the above. Um, I'm gonna start first with this. Um, Who won the poll? What what answer won the poll? Um, I don't know because oh. this. I think this was probably like an old drone. Yeah, social. So right, you screenshotted this, right? Yeah, that was social Send media. Yeah, Maybe. Twitter. On Twitter. No, social yeah. media was the answer that won. Sixty-seven percent of people oh. said social media. Oh, they blame social media yeah, as to why black men, women were not in relationships. Mm, 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 social mm, media mm. blame social media. I, I, I have to disagree with that. Um, I have to disagree. No, I, hold up. You may have a point there. I'm serious. That's why I listed it because it is a factor. Yeah, you it's might a have main a point there. Because that's how a lot of celebrities meet their their downfalls. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. But yeah, I I, I, I slightly yeah, yeah, yeah I slightly cool disagree with yeah. this. Okay. Uh, it's it's a few factors with this. Okay, um, go into it. Um, you said black black women are not in relationship, and why is that? Uh, I would have to say, um, a lot of black women are disappointed in black men. Mm-hmm. Point blank. Mm-hmm. Okay. They really are. Yeah, I might got a And I'm not um I'm keeping it real basic. I'm not with the gender banging. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The gen- the gender gang banging, which I mean by that is AKA I'm not with the because I'm a male, I'm a ride with the men and be right. you know, female ride with the female. No, okay. I'm not doing that. I'm keeping it all the way honest, brutally honest. Men are out here fucking up. And they you, are. They Yeah. Yeah. And um, some men do not know how to even talk to a real woman. Right. They don't know how to communicate. They live it through a, fa- uh, a fantasy world through social media, looking at these IG whores, thinking every woman outside is supposed to look like what's on their phone. That's not the case. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But then you got the flip side of it is there are some black women out here that just are tripping. 
they got loaded standards. Some black women got loaded standards for men, and they can very well have that knight and shining armor, and shining armor and in front of their face. Mm-hmm. But they 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 like, oh well, man, he ain't six five. <laughs> oh man, he only five nine. Oh man, he ain't dark skinned with a beard. You know what I'm saying? Like all these little shit, but instead of acknowledging the energy that they're getting from this person, mm-hmm. the energy that they get from this male might be dope. Right. But they they like withhold with withheld their withhold everything back because they're like, this ain't part of my the standards that I've been put up on my motherfucking vision board. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of women <laughs> they do vision boards and shit like that. You know what I mean? Um I'm just this is this is all based on this my opinion is based on all the women I know and that I talk to. I worked in the medical field for almost 16, 17 years around nothing but women. And that's from all ages, like from early twenties to fifties. Okay. You know what I mean? So this is what my my answer is based on. And it's like um a lot of women are unhappy. And sometimes they're unhappy with themselves. Mm -hmm. And then you got the flip side of it. Men don't even know themselves. They don't know what the fuck they want. Yeah. You know what I mean? They don't know if they want a whore or a wife. A wife is not a whore. And a whore is not a wife. Uh, If y'all get what I'm saying. Let me correct you on that. Now, let me, let me, Uh -uh. now, now, now. Go ahead. Let me correct you on this one. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. I know what you're saying. You know, you know where I'm going at with this, right? I know what you're saying. So the but same thing, the are... same thing that attracted a man is going to keep a man, right? Some, some, some it depends. It's it like depends. a 50-50 chance. It depends. My thing is this: you cannot get married and expect for y'all going from every day to once a month. Mm. Some women fuck it up for the men. Mm. So is that in the beginning? In the beginning, in the beginning, the women again. No, I'm just saying I'm just keeping it 100. In the beginning, y'all fucking three, four, five times out of a day, y'all out of a week, it's Mm. four times. You get married, you got that ring, you got that. Mm. Now you like ah once a month. Yeah. Listen, I'm cheating too. (laughs) You fucking kidding me? So, is, but is that why they're not in relationships, though? Because whatever you did to to capture that man, mm-hmm. then you feel as though you got that man. Oh, I'm cool now. I'm set. I got this ring. It's I got that 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 that, 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 that signature. Right. It's a wrap. That's right. not what it is. You got to keep that candle burning. Right. You got to say, all right, we was doing it four times, but damn, I, I'm getting a little older now. Like my back, my knees, my mouth. You know what I'm saying? I got to probably cut down a little bit, but not mm-hmm. so once a month. Right. Mm-hmm. You cannot turn a man on like that, then turn him the fuck off. Yeah. You're not going to get the same response. Well, okay, yes, you're going to you get gotta, some papers in the mail. Yeah. Listen, we divorced. Well, you, you got to. not capture a man like that. Yeah. You can't capture a woman like that. You was courting her. You was taking out the den. You was sending her flowers, sending her candy. Now yeah. you're going to stop it because now you're together. You got to continue whatever you yeah. did in the beginning to capture that person, yep. to capture their love and their heart. Okay. To keep the flame going, I ain't saying you gotta be a whore out here dressed like that. But whatever you did, you can keep it behind doors. Mm-hmm. But remember to keep that, keep it going. Don't just stop it. Okay. Don't just don't bait a person with that good old bait, that good old fat worm. And then now it's like <laughs> a piper worm. Now you got a piper worm on the core. You out there fishing. Now you got a piper worm there <laughs> trying to catch fish. You kidding me? Oh, Are you kidding me? I got you. <laughs> you, see, you feel me? I think the the premise of the question that I asked was why, pretty much why is there so many single women? Mm-hmm. Um, and I wanted to know if those factors was one of the reasons why there were a lot of great black women around here that are just single and not mm-hmm. dating or not in a relationship. And I, Because when I think about my pool of men that's, that's out there, right, there's a lot of black gay men. So that's a huge chunk being mm-hmm. taken out, right? And then you got a lot of black men that don't want to be in relationships because there's a plethora of fish in the sea that they can choose from. Mm-hmm. And then you have a lot of black men who just don't desire incarcerated mm-hmm. ones or don't desire the black woman. So mm-hmm. I was trying to figure out which one of these seems to be like 
a bigger reason why. It wasn't so much as to why they're no longer in a relationship. It's just why are we not in a relationship? Because when I look at women between the ages of 27 and 35, Mm -hmm. They're great. They're successful. Mm-hmm. They, they're they holding their own. They have their own place. They're doing well at work, in life. They've got a car. They're making pretty good money. They got really good credit scores. They're good people. Mm-hmm. Um, they, they, they are, you know, just overall good people, right? Mm-hmm. Why are they not in relationships? Because there are women in my bracket who yearn to be in relationships, right? Because we weren't created to be walking this earth by ourselves. We were created mm-hmm. for companionship. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to figure out why there are so many more black women not in relationships. Me included. I, I, I feel as though I'm one of the hardest working people who works on themselves, right? Mm-hmm. I'm constantly trying to figure out how I can make myself better. I treat others like I want to be treated. I feel like I'm okay. I'm easy on the eyes. I'm kind of, you know, I'm you know, I'm out here doing good work. I can withhold my own. I don't necessarily need a man to take care of me. Mm. What is, what is, what am I missing, right? And mm. as women, we tend to try to figure out what's wrong with us. But now I'm trying to figure out what is the catch of the eye of the man. What are, what is it that you know what we're though? Missing? Yeah, you know. Can I say something real quick? I just want to say something. Why I can remember right now because this is uh, great. Go God. ahead. Okay, so I've noticed that a lot of black women have lost themselves in being natural, being real. Because at one point in the era that I was coming up in, when they didn't care about beating their face, they didn't care about having Mm -hmm. the European look so much of the hair down to their ass Mm -hmm. and their edges looking like they're from West Africa. We have lost ourselves in being in tune with being natural, being real, being down to earth, being able to laugh and, 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 and embrace a joke. Like if a man busts on you and it's just natural, this is a joke. We laugh with him instead of starting a fight. So and what it is is that because we 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 carry so much on ourselves on our shoulders that we've lost we've lost the 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 in human the, the in human talent talent. <laughs> Is that even a word? <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that we lost ourselves. We lost the touch of being able to laugh. Yeah, yo. Being able to be laughter is a beautiful natural. thing because we're so used. We're so worried about those standards mm-hmm. that we lost ourselves. That I have to go out here at seven a.m. with my face beat like I just came from Hollywood. Yeah. In order to be accepted. Because we're so busy looking at what's really the thing of us being accepted, which really to me is not really being accepted. So do you think that men are overlooking um, black women or or I'm not even going to say overlooking, are choosing not to be in relationships just because they just don't want to be? No, it's because we've lost ourselves when we settled for less. So is that why? So one of the options was they're choosing to choose women outside of their race because when you think about it Mm -hmm. in hindsight Mm -hmm. um the marriage rate is actually going up believe it or not it is but not with us it's going up but it's not with us Mm -hmm. and i'm trying to figure out why we're last in it and i understand so everybody should know this if you didn't know that black women are the least desirable women on earth i'm sorry we are the least desirable they weren't certain features from us but they want us to uh have hair like this and a skin tone this complexion and they want us to talk a particular way Mm -mm. and it's just like okay um it's not gonna happen right so it's like why are we last and then i thought about all the other factors like i can't just pinpoint it on them wanting a person outside their race because there's a lot of black men that are gay Right. And it's a huge amount. There is a an alarming rate of black men that are either undercover or just blatantly out there as who they who they are. So that leaves us black women who actually desire black men left hopeless. Right. There's just not a number of of men for us to choose from because we have all these factors to say. Well, the pickings is slimmed down when you start to add in all those things. They're either in jail, dead, taken, okay, already taken, gay, um, or they just choosing just to have fun and just live life. 
So a woman who's ready to settle down, be a, a wife and have this family, there's slim pickings out here. Slim. So you have an alarming amount of women who have decided that they're not getting married, they're not having kids, and I'm going to just run the world. And then you have feminism that just continues to grow. Because now we've done told ourselves we don't need a man. You know, you know what's crazy? Yeah. I don't it's like a the, loaded I don't, question. Yeah, it is. I don't it's like a the, very loaded question. I don't like it's, the feminist uh, movement. Yeah, I, I, don't I, I, am, I don't either. I am. I am. I I like parts of it. I don't like all of it. Right. And, yeah. and I'm comfortable enough t- to say that. Right. right? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not even comfortable, and I tell people this all the time, and we can have a full blown argument, conversation, debate, whatever you want to say. I don't want to be referred to as a female. And that's just where it's at. Mm. So I won't write feminist across my chest because I won't write female across my chest. Mm. A female is subjecting me to only my sexual organs. A dog is a female dog. I am a human being. Mm. So therefore, I am a woman. And if I'm not a woman, then I'm a young lady. If I'm not a young lady, then I am a girl. Gotcha. So I don't want to be subjected to being called that female because that low-key is disrespectful because men go around when they don't want to say bitch that female you don't see women walk around that male that male is that guy that man right right so i'm not going to subject you to your to your sexual organ i am a woman either i'm a woman a girl however you want to identify me as a human but Mm -hmm. i am not a female that cow over there is a female because you can't tell if it's if if it's a woman or Mm -hmm. not right because it's an animal when you first take the glance so it's like i don't even want to be called that and then it's just so much. I, I'm I'm old school, right? I mm. want a man to be head of my household. I want a man to lead me into the right direction, right? Mm. And that's just where I'm at for that. Yeah. Nobody needs to know if I make more money than him or not. At the end of the day, he runs this household. Yeah. At the end of the at day, the end right. of the day, right? You, because you're accepting I your role you to lead me yeah. in this family. You're accepting right? and your I role. Had your back. It's a fifty fit. 50-50. It's not, I don't even look at that 50-50. No, I'm not no, giving you 50% of me. No, 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 no. I mean, you give your 50% to the table, he give his 50% to the table. No, you getting 100 because he giving me 100. That's where it's at. And I think we get confused mm. about okay. this 50-50 thing. Okay. I'm mm. giving you 100% of me okay, because I, like I want that. you to give 100, I want you to give me 100% of me. Yeah. And that's where it's at. And I think we've gotten too hood. Mm-hmm. If I can say, with how we're looking at what family is supposed to be, what marriages is supposed to be, what a woman's role versus a man's role, things like that. I think those lines have become completely blurred. We've come up with our own standards and it's gone as these hood rules mm. or these hood laws. And it's just it's just disgusting sometimes. Mm. Like, oh, I'm supposed to be able to, you know, have my wife and my baby mom when I feel like it. Like, that's Maybe. just that's just hood rules. No, it's not. Or, no, I'm going to disrespect my baby mom. This my wife. No. If we're going to do this, then I mm-hmm. need to have a relationship with your child's mm-hmm. mother because I got a relationship with your kid. Right. Right? Right. It's 100%. I'm not hiding nothing from you. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't be hiding nothing from me. And I think what the problem is, is some black women will put up what they want. And a black man is either A, scared of it. B, knows that they can go elsewhere without the headache. Um, or C, just be like, she wants too much and I can't catch up to her standard. You know, well, and, and, and those are the factors right. at the end of the mm. day. I got what you're saying, but I just want to re- reiterate what I'm saying as far as like the 50-50 thing. Okay. It takes 100% to make things complete. Right. When I'm saying with the 50% and the he giving 50%, meaning that that is your all. And he's giving his all. It's not no half-ass nothing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So with the hood rules... Yes. But it's running our black communities, though. Mm. It, is. It, it is. It is. Mm. It is. It is. If I talk to somebody it that's, is. you know, that's young and black or, mm. or you know, around my age in their 30s and in a marriage and you mm. ask them really what it is, it's like, y'all dating? Mm. Like, or are y'all really, really, like, doing right. this? Right. Like, you really putting up with this? Or is he really putting up with Or y'all really talk to each other like that? Right. It's just like... That's not good. That's not healthy. That's yeah, because that's not. you saw somebody else do that and thought that that was what marriage or, or you know, is that's what it's supposed to look like. Right. And I think we've gotten carried away with that being the norm. Being a rock. Right. That, like, no. Yeah. Hey, no, I'm man. not doing it. No, right? not at all. I definitely so, agree with that. I, I, don't, I don't know. Everybody has a different caliber of person that they want, that they're attracted to. Um and that's just really what it is. You're right. You're right. 
It's the, I'm sorry. It's just getting comfortable. Everyone's just too comfortable. Too comfortable, right? Yeah, Because they don't want to rock the boat. But right. listen, I'm talking about all the time. I now, listen, am. I know I was born to rock the boat. I, I I'm not making your shit too comfortable. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> you got to be able know. to question something. I, we need to have a conversation. If we if we can't mm-hmm. have a conversation, then that nothing. lets me know more. I told him prior to this, I said, excuse me, it's okay to date multiple people. Nobody said that you had to have sex with all those people. There you go. But while we're dating, mm-hmm. we're collecting information from right. each other to mm-hmm. see if we're going to continue to go on further. Mm-hmm. Like, you start having well, sex with all those people. Let's right. see if we're going to have another date. Let's see souls. if I should talk to you for another week. Mm-hmm. You know, things like that. You're supposed to be getting to know that person. Mm-hmm. And I think as soon as somebody starts talking to somebody, they automatically go together. We in a relationship. Yeah. You don't even know mm-hmm. this person. Exactly. I dated somebody Woo. on and off for almost like two years, and I didn't know this person. Mm-hmm. He was giving me what he wanted to give me. Right. Enough to be like, okay, that'll calm her down. Right. Exactly. So I kept he was giving you he was yeah. giving what he thought enough. you wanted to hear. Right. He was giving me enough. And he was mm-hmm. like, I do care about you. No, you surface care. And then I learned mm-hmm. about people care different ways. Right? Mm-hmm. So I had to learn how he cared research. versus how I care. Mm-hmm. And that could be well on 100% how you care. But guess what? That's not how I want to be cared exactly. for. And so it was up to me to say, I don't want to be with you. Mm. I don't want to continue mm. to do this. Mm. Mm. Right? Nice. So yeah. that's mm. at the end of the day, you got to figure out who you are, what you like, what you want to accept, what you're right. not going to accept. Right. And I didn't accept that. And, and it was no shade to, to him. It was just like, I don't like your level of care. Mm. I'm not going to jump hoops and bend over backwards for you. If all you're going to be like, if I say, yeah, you know. I'm waiting for the tow truck to come. I need help. And, and you know, blase, blase, I'm going to be late for work or something, something. And it's like, oh, you know, I'm sorry that had to happen. Except X, Y, and Z. That's not the level of care that I need from you. Damn. Right? Yeah. I might need a little bit more. So I might like need, where you, I need questions like, where are you at? Right. Are you in right. a safe space? Yeah. Not what happened. Yeah. Uh, you know you a speed racer. Or, you know, I don't need any of that. Yeah. I need, do you need... Do you need my Did triple A? I'm at work. Should. I'm out of town right now. I can send you this. You need, I need, a, you need I, action. I, I, I need action, but I need yeah. to see how you really feel. Mm-hmm. Because, But then again, I learned that some people are just like that naturally, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. They're real flat lines, surface based. They don't mm-hmm. like to get too, too attached. Enough to say they care, but just I've learned that mm-hmm. it was surface. Mm-hmm. It was just enough, and that's not enough for you. And it wasn't enough. For me. I know that's right. <laughs> I know that's right. Yeah, and Talk that's with me. people in general, right? Mm-hmm. Like you a friend, but you're not like a friend. Yeah, friend. yeah. So mm-hmm. we're gonna get into these questions nice. that matter. Okay, nice. Um, it's eight questions. We just gonna have some fun. Okay, okay. Okay, we're gonna start off with this: seafood or sex? Which one could you have every day? <laughs> Dang, that's that's those are the only two options. Yeah, only two questions that matter. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say sex because if I eat seafood every day, I'm I'm finna break out. I know mm-hmm. that's right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next, name uh, three things you can't live without. Um, a prayer, mm. my children, and laughing. Mm. I gotta laugh. Dope. That was like I think you like you beat. That's she dope. beat the time clock. Oh, as far I, as oh, answering that question, the time clock. Yeah, she beat the time clock. Yeah. She did. Wait a minute, I memorized Go some other questions that matter. So, uh, weed or alcohol? Mm-hmm. <laughs> alcohol slash wine. I'm a wine girl. Okay. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Who, who's your fantasy celebrity crush, dead or alive? Whew. Right now, or like before, like when I was growing up, it's always, always been Will Smith. Okay. And it's oh, because wow. I'm attracted to how smart he is. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Intelligence. Mm-hmm. You a Gemini. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's so intriguing. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah. Geminis, Geminis are intrigued by intelligence. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Yeah, I know mm-hmm. first um, hand So if that. you could be, name one animal that you could be. Animal? Why? Yeah, animal. Probably would be a panther. Why though? Um, just because she black mm. and she hunts. You already gave it a gender. <laughs> All right, <laughs> you already cuts. You know she hunts mm. and she is a fighter. Like a cat in the wild is fierce. Mm-hmm. When she is the female, she is fierce. Okay. So yeah. Wakanda right. forever. Wakanda. <laughs> Wakanda forever. 
<laughs> okay. What comes to mind when you hear the word boss? Me. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I, yeah, I like that. Okay. Okay. You remember that? It was. Uh, um, I, I don't think you did. Name one cartoon character that is similar to you. Elmira from Tiny Toon Adventures. Okay. My oh, oh okay. Tiny Toon. <laughs> yes. I don't know your age, but you just yeah, kind of let me know. <laughs> we in the same age bracket. Mm-hmm. Right, okay. right, right, Okay, right. okay. All right. Um, if you could have one superhero power, which one would it would you choose Rolls to read? Oh, hold up. Oh, it's more? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wow. To okay. read people's minds, oh. to fly, or to be immortal? To fly. Okay. Why? I don't want to live forever. Okay. And I don't want to. And I don't want to um, take away that privacy of your own thoughts. I don't think that's fair. Right. Mm. Right. Mm. Um, I don't want to be intrusive. If gotcha. I should say that. Government okay. already okay. being intrusive. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> the Patriot Act already sealed that take deal. It. Uh, take yes, take it. Yeah, but um, that wraps up the questions that matter. Okay. And um, that pretty much wraps up everything. Um. I thought they was gonna ask me like music, like what's the last thing you listened to right before? You know oh, what? No, let's no, add no. that on. Let's add that on. We can do that. We can do that. We can do that. The question that matters is the question that matters. It is a question that matters. Yeah, but no, right no, now, I'm saying I thought right they were gonna ask me some type of music yeah. questions, like just in general, like but not right now, part of that list, Alicia, but in general. What was the last thing you listened to? Uh oh. Um, <laughs> before I got out of the car. <laughs> uh, kissing on my t- uh, kissing on my tattoos by uh, Al- Alcina. What's his name? August. August Alcina. August okay. Alcina. That's, okay, nice. That dope. was the last song. Okay, yeah, dope. Okay, okay. Right. So uh, I need you to I need you to let people know about your website, which okay. is a really dope website, and your social media, so people can follow you awesome. and maybe sign up to um, all your dope events that you're gonna have coming up. Absolutely. So, um, you guys can find me on Twitter or Instagram at The Hustle Mom. Um, my podcast is on iTunes, Google Play, Google po- uh, Podcasts, Anchor, Spotify under The Hustle Mom. My website is www.thehustlemom.org. Um, you guys can call or text me at 267-648-8680. Um, what else? How else can they reach me? I am not on Facebook, guys. Mm-hmm. Um, or you can email me, thehustlemom at gmail.com. Um, I respond um, to text calls and emails. Um, you can go on the website and see what I got going on. Uh, what else? That's about it. Um, mm-hmm. You can sign up. Any moms out there need mom coaching or any young ladies out there that need mentoring, you guys just hit me up and just shoot me an email. Just put in the subject box what it's pertaining to, and I and I'll reply back. Yeah. No. Okay. No. All it's right. free. It's All free. Right. It's free. So just to let you know, you are a fishing with genius. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. And uh, y'all know how we like to end this? How we end this? Dream hard. And don't sleep forever. Peace. Peace. You, you, you are now an official hood genius. Thanks for listening. Make sure you subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Y'all know what to do. Hit that follow button.